red, sometimes found with zigzags of white through the stone. Why is rhodochrosite pink? The pink colour comes from the manganese in the stone and subtly changes across each layer as the stone forms over time. Raw or rough rhodochrosite is formed in fractures of sedimentary and metamorphic rock, often produced as a byproduct of silver mines, which I find fascinating because we think about copper, you get your turquoises, you get your, you get your uh, mag um, malachite. Rhodochrosite is like that for silver. In fact, in some locations over in Argentina, they call it Inca Rose. Um, this is a gemstone that was actually found alongside uh, the previous Inca silver mine. So we'll read on. Uh, we'll read on. Here we go. This is that, that you know, this is the, the, the gemstone that we're describing, but rhodochrosite is extremely rare as well formed crystals. One of a few locations in the world where they are found is the Sweet Home Mine near Alma, Colorado. Originally opened as a silver mine in 1873, the rhodochrosite was discarded at the time. Then, as the popularity of the mineral uh, collecting increased, well-formed crystals were found in the Sweet Home Mine became many times more valuable uh, than the lapidary material. Excellent small hand-sized specimens currently sell for five-digit numbers. Broken or damaged crystals are sometimes used as faceting rough. Um, but as with any gemstones, you have to be mindful of where you're sourcing them from um, because there is, unfortunately, a lot of imitations. Um, you know, some fairly sort of scrupulous traders that will say, this is rhodochrosite when it's not, it's an imitation. I mean, look how... I could fall for that. You know, the mm, quality mm, of that, it's, mm. you know, it is very, very good, but they are not the real deal. They are, they are faux uh, rhodochrosites. Um, but, yes, you're looking for that wonderful rose pink. You're looking for those beautiful bands and markings within. Take a little look at your gorgeous strands. You have translucency. And in a few moments' time, I'm going to flick through on the PowerPoint, and you will see an example of a translucent... Um, rhodochrosite that fetches astronomical prices. Now, I'm not making direct price comparisons, but I am. Uh, well, the reason why I show you these slides is because big designers work with this gemstone. Look, the jewelry editor showed you um, this amazing piece. There we go, a cabochon um, in, in 18 karat gold, smothered in diamonds mm. and sapphires. Actually, I'm going to go as far as saying that's lesser quality than what you actually have in the strand right now. Pieces like this, I love that design. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, the Ritrato uh, Hawaiian Rhodochrosite ring. Um, here we go. That's what I was talking about. Look at the translucency. Now, uh, that, that would be hugely expensive. Hugely, hugely expensive. Um, but it has a level of translucency, mm. much like your strand here. Um, but there they are. There they are. Rhodochrosite oh, and I think a gemstone which... They've got similarities, mm. haven't they? And they mm. work so beautifully together. Now, let's open this auction. I can't remember the last time I actually brought rhodochrosite to air. You're getting an amazing 33 carats, sometimes actually referred to as the Inca Rose, which I really love that about it because it's referring to the silver mine, um, silver mine location and the fact that it forms alongside uh, those silver. Where is this from, Ross? Peruvian. Um, so it can be formed and, and sort of mined out of stalactites and stalagmites, if I can remember which one's which. Um, beautiful bands of concentric or zigzags alternating in white and pink or even red. Specimens with vibrant pink are highly desirable and extremely valuable. Most uh, recognized mines, uh, well, first and the oldest mine was actually in Argentina. Um, first described in literature in 1873 when it was given the name Inca Rose because this location um, is at an altitude of 10,000 feet um, and the process is very, very, very difficult. That is what your rhodochrosite um, is all about. It's this femininity. It's almost like a fusion of pinks and peaches. Mm. I just love Lovely, it. It's it? one of my top five gems. Mm. I love it. I absolutely adore it. Now, lots of you shopped ahead already. How many do we have of these, Ross? Just over 100. So again, we need to talk about maybe the possibilities. Channel setting, looming, tassels. Mm, I, I really, I mean, all those pieces of jewellery uh, that we saw photos of are incredible. I do like with the green there, and I think I'd looked at it with the, the, um, the green angelite as well. I think, you know, if you're going to mix it with another 
gemstone. I do think it works really, really well with, with green. But that, that, that size and shape, so whatever, you know, that, that, um, that works, doesn't it, in, in lots and lots of different sorts of jewellery. But the fact that you've got, it's that gemstone and that's a lovely colour. Look at that. Yeah, it's, that's just, it's really elegant, it's isn't it? It's beautiful. Really elegant. So really. beautiful. So we are not stopping at 19.99. We're not even stopping. Gosh. At 14.99. Yeah. You have translucency and you have that colour. It's brand new. It's premiering today. We are going to take this under ten pounds. I don't expect there to be any of these left come the end of the hour. Rhodochrosite, mm. it's mesmerically beautiful. Because I, I don't know, it's for me when I'm looking at this, it's the delicacy of the bands mm. and the fact that even with those bands that we discussed a few moments ago, you still have that translucency, which is so valuable. The one that I showed alongside the, the you know, the, uh, with the pearls. I mean, that would be astronomically expensive. And yes, it's got a, it's got a darker colour. Um, but see the translucency. Look at the translucency. And they reserved it for gold, for diamonds. It, that's how esteemed Rhodochrosite is as a treasure. We were going to take this to 12 99 because it's the final auction of this hour. And this is the only road coaster I have in the entire show. The only one that's what? Really, it's the only one we've got in the business currently. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised we don't often see it. Hardly ever see it. I did a road coaster showcase months ago, months and months and months ago, and everything sold out. It's like malachite. You know, malachite in a showcase mm. always sells out. Shouldn't be going under ten pounds, but it is for you today. It's the finale auction of your viewers' choice. Nine pounds and ninety-nine pence. I love rhodochrosite. It's the colour. It's that peachy pink. Mm. And the three mil faceted round. You know, there's lots you can do, isn't there? Lots and lots. I mean, you've got like a rosary linked uh, necklace coming up. Yeah. Would work very well if you work with your sterling silver wire. You know, you could do like little, little bubble clusters. Like that, that type of thing that we'll, you know we'll do later. You know, that would be nice. You've got that beautiful, you know, delicate colour. You've got all the sparkle. That kind of thing. Yeah. What really oh, happened. amazing. And talk about, you know, that's going to take your road to side mm. and make it really it's last. It's a long way, isn't it? Oh, my goodness. This is a strand that's coming up within Claire's mm. kits as well. It's absolutely flying out the door. Again, tassels. It's, it's one of those colours that literally complements everything, doesn't it? You know, I showed it with pearls. I showed it with angelite. showed it yeah. with venturine. And I think with your metals as well. I mean, you could sit, you know, rose gold would look very, very pretty. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah, and beautiful. then cooler sterling silver maybe, and then real warm like you know yellow, yellow gold. Love that, absolutely love it. Um, check out because we had just over a hundred. Louise, we can see you on the phone lines. Hello, Doreen, June. Hello, Chuhima. New customer, Penny. Sorry, Diane. Louise, new customer, Sharon. Uh, Carmel, Alison, you're there as well. Doreen, Stockton on Tees, London, Michael, Carol, Veronica, Susan, Kaz. Uh, Caroline, Valerie, Fife, well done to you. You've got to check out those baskets because that clock, well, technically we've just tiptoed over nine o'clock hour. Um, but we'll leave the graphics on your screens. Good luck to each and every single one of you. You spoke about amazing photography. I'm just looking, yeah. yeah. Oh, my goodness, Wait just seen see. the first yeah. piece. Jenny Brooks, if you're watching right now, your photography and jewellery making is impeccable. Um, up next is the Wall of Fame. <laughs> Wonderful. Jenny Brooks, hello to you, my darling. You're number 316. Wow. That's amazing, Jenny. Oh, that's awesome. And she says, dear jewellery maker, please finally close my first ever entry to the Wall of Fame. Oh, wonderful. I've been with you since 2014, but never plucked up the courage to enter before. I have rheumatoid arthritis and jewellery making is good therapy for my hands and for my mental health. This is a tree frog from a design in Rachel Norris's booklet. It took me a long time to make, but I'm pleased with the results. The frog is made from antique bronze wire and has cognac amber eyes and purple agate body with various bronze and brown seed beads. 
The bale is adapted from the design shown by Alison Tarry on the fourth, um, and the frog is hanging on a hand-plaited bronze and copper leather um, with an antique copper clasp. Everything is from jewellery maker except the leather clasp and some of the sea beads. Thank you to Rachel for the brilliant designs um, and to Carol and Alison for the kind words of encouragement. Best wishes to all at Jewellery Maker Towers. And that's Jenny Brooks. Jenny, that is incredible. That's wonderful, Jenny. Absolutely incredible. Please make a promise. Promise me that you'll send more in because yeah. we want to see your work. That's absolutely beautiful. And photography, by the way. And it's lovely to know the story behind it yeah. as well, isn't it? Yeah, it's wonderful. Loving that. Look. 317 is from Kelly. Kelly, beautiful, Ooh. absolutely stunning. Uh, hello, jewelry maker. Please find attached my picture of earrings I've made from 55 carats of chocolate moonstone faceted with yellow tiger's eye matte finish uh, for the Wall of Fame. I haven't made jewelry since 2012 and I'm happy to be back at it again. Brilliant. Yeah, we're delighted to have you back, Kelly. They are beautiful. Yeah, some lovely earring designs there. Loving those. Very mainstream. Really in yeah, inventive. It's really nice. 318 is from Lynn. Good morning to you, Lynn. Oh, oh amazing. wow. Amazing, amazing. Good morning to all. My entry to the Wall of Fame is a simple shell and amethyst chip crochet necklace. All materials are from Jewelry Maker. Wishing you all a beautiful week. Kind regards from Lynn. Oh, that's loving lovely. that, Lynn. Absolutely beautiful loving work. that. Uh, 319 is from Norma. Good morning, Norma. Ah, oh, love it. They, oh, that's beautiful, the, isn't it? The Heshies. Amazing. Hi, all. Can I enter this green quartzite and pyrite Heshi beads and pearl necklace this week? I've used some bronze coloured sea beads and sterling silver toggles. Everything is from JM. Thanks to all, and that's from Norma. Do you want oh, to read the rest? That's lovely, Norma. I know some of our designers oh. like to read them. Oh, do they? Okay, <laughs> right. Here we are. Let's have a look. This is uh, Sue Rogers, uh, 320. Uh, here is my late entry to the wall. A crocheted necklace using neon appetite chips inspired by Katie Parker. Good luck to all in the draw. And that's from Sue Rogers. That is beautiful. And again, lovely photography, isn't it? Mm. Good luck, Sue. Amazing. Okay, up next is uh, 321, and this is Fran Porter. Wow, look at that's lovely, isn't it? Look at that wire work. Amazing. This is greetings for nearly Easter. I've been working with the lunar cabs again, this time in red and oval shaped, using silver plated copper wire. It's a pendant. If the bale isn't too clear in these photos, I can't get the luminescence of the cabs on the photos, despite taking the photos at different times of day with different sunlight. Best wishes to all. Hopefully Easter will bring good news. And that's from Fran. They are amazing. Gorgeous. Look at that, the, the detail on there. It's incredible, Fran. Good luck. Uh, here we are. So the next one is uh, 322, and this is Karen wow. Wright. Good morning, team and all JM family. Please find attached my entry to the Wall of Fame. I haven't been able to make a lot lately, but I've had to make uh, this bag charm as my hubby was using Milliput to mend something and had a bit left over. Mm. Obviously, I couldn't waste it. So I quickly got rose gold plated bezel, chain, rose and yellow uh, coloured CZ stones, mica powder and a few fire polished beads for a good measure. Hope you like it. Have a great week and good luck to everyone. It's fabulous. Loving that. Really lovely. Uh, and this is uh, 323 and this is Vivian Thode. Hi all. This week's entry is made from my lucky dip pot where I put bits left over etc. It's a Kumahimo necklace, the cord and most of the seed beads are from JM except some wooden ones. I think it looks nice and summery or to bright and dull days. Best wishes to all and that's from Vivian. That is lovely Vivian, very bright and colourful. Uh, 324, this is Jade Cousins. Hi JM, here is my entry to this week's Wall of Fame. A suite of chrome dioxide and freshwater pearls, all from JM. Good luck everyone. Thank you, Jade. Amazing. That's gorgeous, isn't it? That's They're a lovely so clever. Suite. They're so clever, our viewers, aren't they? Very, very clever and lovely photography as well. Yeah, good luck everybody. Yeah, good luck everybody. Uh, we'll good luck. We'll crossed for the draw, which happens on Wednesday morning. Uh, so this week it's going to be with our lovely Carol. So much to bring you, including amazing kits, beautiful jewellery and demonstrations with this lot, this bombshell, this bombshell here. Um, don't go anywhere. We'll return after this. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide, 
this will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Hello, Jewelry Maker. This is Glenn Lair, and I'm here to celebrate my 10th anniversary with Gemporia. That means I've been on the Gemporia channels for 10 years now. So this is a big occasion for me, for sure, hopefully for all of you. And of course, on the Jewelry Maker, what's totally brand new that we haven't done other than one other time is where now you're able on Jewelry Maker to actually acquire one of my stones. In this particular collection, you're gonna see a quasar cut, Taurus ring or man in the moon, where you can buy the loose stone, get your own mounting and put it together as your very own piece of jewelry. That's never been done before except brand new here on Jewelry Maker. I'm so glad to be able to host. I will be live in the studio. Tune in live from 11 to one. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street, and Yarn Lane. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Welcome back, jewellery makers. So excited about this, Sour Claire. Beautiful kit, beautiful jewellery. Oh, thanks. I've really enjoyed making um, making the jewellery today. I mean, they're, they're, they're really very enjoyed. you. Really enjoyed them. I love the colours and I like the different sizes, different techniques. Do you, nice. do you know, if kits were put before me... Could, can you do... Can I, you say, I could definitely... I would definitely say you. Can you? For these kits, ah. yeah. Definitely, for yeah. sure. I, I mean, like look that, at then. these amazing designs. It's just knowing how to put them all together. Now, I'm going to start with the kit, the piece that you're actually looking at the moment, that kit, because this is... Well, it's turquoise. It's rose quartz. Um, now, it's limited. We've got quantity, but it is quite the most limited out mm. of all the kits. They, they all are, in actual fact. I mean, Claire, look, that's the most amazing design. Oh, thank you. It's, and it's, um, I, just, I just think, because you've got lots of lovely components in here, haven't you? You've got lots of textures, you've got colour. Um, and so there's lot, there is lots you, can, lots you can do. But I do, I, it's two of my favourite gemstones, the rose quartz and... and that work so perfectly yeah, together. Yeah, and, and, and the, the connector that's in there. Now, incredible. all the kits are available on pre-order, so take a little look online, all the W's at jewellerymaker.com. Um, 
You can shop ahead, of course. So I'm going to start with that kit. Rose quartz in your beautiful bicones. Look how different it is when you actually see it separated and actually put together mm. um, in the finished piece of jewellery. So there's the rose quartz, of course, the gemstone of unconditional love and, and friendship, of course. Mm. Um, and the gemstone that is just perfect to go alongside, um, alongside your turquoise. Look at that. I mean... Tassel love heart, beautiful, absolutely perfect together, aren't they? Um, so that's genuine turquoise. You are getting 90 carats in total, 38 centimetre strand um, across both of those. Then we've put some sterling silver wire. Now, it's so easy, Claire, to look at, look at this and go, that's oh, some wire. It is precious metal. That yes. is 925. Yes, it is. And that, and that um, you know, and so you could do, obviously I've, I've used it as the, uh, the rosary linking there, but you know, you can, you can twist that as well. You can make some findings if you wanted to, you know, but yeah. like you say, it's, it's precious metal. Caging gemstones, you know, you could, you could do that too. That's what, you know, that's, it's, it's invaluable, isn't it? Sterling silver wire. Yeah. Because yeah. there's so yeah. much you can do. Yeah, uh, all do the ends, it. make your own head pins, you know, things like that. Then you have this amazing yeah, so amazing lovely. connector sterling silver six carats checkerboard faceted rose quartz that as you can see in claire's design will literally pop within um i mean how do i how do i secure that so i'll show you how to do that it's, i think these settings they're so so clever and it's a, it's a really great way of maybe if you haven't uh, worked with um, maybe gem, you know, gemstones that maybe you used to working with always drilled. Mm. This is a really, I think, a good, again, confidence builder. But if you look at it, it's so, um, it's so on trend. You know, uh, gemstones that are set like that with just that very, very simple frame, they're in a, you know, a lot of, um, you know, a lot of designs at the moment. And, and, and that you can, so if you wanted to work with your cords as well, I've, I've used that, um, that type of design in cords, uh, macrame, um, you know, with pearls, that is actually going to go with Multitude. everything. Multitude, yeah, pearls yeah. is a lovely idea. Everything. To have it almost asymmetrically. All sterling silver, so we're not talking about base metals here, this is a lot of sterling silver and, of course, natural, beautiful gemstones. Um, if Even if we were to keep this at 40, £49.99, pence, I mean, a piece like that I can imagine a boutique for literally, well, three figures. Mm. Th and high three figures. Um, because of the nature and the quality of the components that are within. If you're loving this piece um, and you have any questions, of course, message us. We are live here in the studio. But make sure you check out because this is the most limited. So it's called a wrap tight connector. Ooh, oh, gosh. Oh, did you say that on my sheets? Is that what you said? No, no. I thought I was going to say I didn't think that registered. 19.99. That's very good, isn't it? I mean, the silver, the amount of silver that's within this kit alone. Then, of course, the gemstones. You've got turquoise here. I mean, how often is turquoise under 20? And I did. I had, I had some of the chips left. And if I, can I take it off just to show you? Because what you could, you know, this is the, the rosary link. You know, it's a long line. You know, it's not like it's sort of I've, I've just done uh, the rosary linking and used the, um, the gemstones at the front. You know, that's a, that's that's a ball beautiful. all the way around. You know, you've Claire, got lots of lovely. Stunning. I think it's just it's it's just all it's about movement, isn't it? And because you know the those the turquoise chips, I just I love them all together and about the texture. But I think it's the you know the colour as well, which is why I've separated them out individually and, yeah. and put them in because it is that that colour is amazing. It's incredible colour. Oh, hello, Miss Janet. She's saying beautiful work as always, Claire. Oh, I hope you, you will have a wonderful, happy life in your oh, new home. Thanks, Miss uh, Janet. Great show. Thank uh, you. She filled, I might get a bit emotional again. Honestly, it literally filled my heart with joy when she said that. I just had a little happy cry. Oh, um, I'm going to start calling her Beatrix now, so you know why, because it literally is like a Beatrix Potter house. Thanks, Miss um, Janet. Everybody... Um, Oh, yeah, like 98% of you have all checked out on the web. That speaks volumes. Yeah, it's that a lovely, lovely volumes. kit. You recognise how, how beautiful the kit is and also how amazingly luxurious those components are. Yes. Um, yeah. I'll leave that with you for now because we've got a couple of other varieties. Where's that then? Oh, over here. <gasps> oh, 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 oh. <sighs> if you love that, but you want a cashmere grey. And, I mean, the, yeah... The components again are beautiful. Oh, it's pretty. All natural. 
<sighs> There's the wire. Here is the labradorite, and here is that wrap tight heart bezel that will fit within. Oh, that's beautiful, Claire. It's stunning, isn't it? Absolutely stunning. I, I'd use this with the rose and the yeah, rose quartz yeah. and the uh, and the Yeah, they turquoise. work very nicely together. Because the turquoise is going to complement the blue yep. in the labradorite. Well, and the rose quartz looks amazing mm -hmm. alongside alongside uh, so those soft cashmere greys. Mm -hmm. Faceted, checkerboard faceted, calibrated to fit within your wrap tight connector, which again, for those of you that have just tuned in, is 925 sterling silver as is that reel of wire. You don't have to be a wire worker with, to work with kits like this, do you? No, not at all, not at all. I mean, the, the, uh, the wire that you're getting there is a great gauge that um, you can weave with it. Uh, it's, a, it's a heavier, because it's a thicker gauge, so you can weave with it if you wanted to, but yeah, just Oops. doing your rosary linking, like I say, twisting it, uh, if you're happy to, maybe if, you, if you've got a hammer and a, a block and you, so you're going to make maybe your earring findings and you're going to give them a, you know, work hard and them, hammer them slightly. Loads. You <coughs> but I think the, the thing, um, the thing to remember as well with the, the hearts particularly as well is, you know, the, the, the setting is so clever that it gives you, you know, there's no back or front here. And I think that really comes across in the quality of the, of the gemstones Amazing. that you're getting as well. So, you know, like you like your tassels, so they, they do work perfectly mm. on tassels because you've got that movement and you're seeing, you know, front and back. But the, the um, yeah, the quality of the Labrador is incredible. Well, we're going to uh, throw to the demo in a second. So um, we do have more kits. They are available on pre-order. Any questions that you have for Claire regarding uh, any of your her wonderful makes, um, then do message because we are live in. Um, you can shop ahead. There they are. They are going lower than the price that you're seeing on your screens right now. I'm almost tempted to have a little make along with you with these connectors. They're amazing. Oh, you can um, do if you'd like. Take it, take it away. Okay. okay. So there's a couple of different um, uh, techniques I can show you. So and it's and it's very um, it's a quick way. But if you haven't maybe if you haven't worked with those um, of setting the the stone into the um, uh, into the, the the wrap settings, I'll just I'll just talk you through because you can see there. So the really clever thing with the um, with the setting is, so it looks like it it looks like just straightforward plain wire, which is the, the really lovely, very very simple look to it. But if you actually look, what you've got is you've got a little um, little valley in there, and what the, what that's going to do is that's going to your, your gem the edge of the gemstone is going to sit in there. And then we're going to squeeze it around so tension is going to pull it all together and the, it's going to hold the stone really securely but like i say it's just very very simple so it doesn't obscure any of the of the, of the stone so to do that all you're going to need is um you don't need a, any sort of um complex tools or, or kit or anything like that if you've got some round nose pliers um, and maybe a, um, a scrap bit of um bit of metal uh, so I've got I've got wire there. So you can you can maybe go up to um, uh, I'd say maybe 1.25, 1.5. Um, I've just got uh, one mil there, and I've got um, <laughs> I've just bent it over and my round nose pliers. So I'm going to have that there. So let's pop this in, and you can see. So that's gone in there. Was that a big sneeze? I think so. <laughs> I couldn't work out if it, was a, if it was a door slamming or a big sneeze. Know. Bless you, whoever that was. Right, so I'm going to pop that in there. So that's gone in here. Uh -huh. So I'm just going to hold that. And you can see, so we've got a nice curve already. I'm just going to give it a little bit of a squeeze there. So by doing that, this is the, this is the tension that is going to pull the, um, the framework around the stone. So again, so I'm going to just hold that in there. Little pinch. So the, the scrap wire in there is, is stopping the, the connector part from closing up. So it's quite important because we don't want to squeeze too much and then we actually can't get anything in there. So the nice things with these, the stone is a very, very definite heart shape and we've got the two connectors either side. So we can, you can add your jump ring in there or if you wanted to, um, add cord as well. So we've, we've set the stone and you can see, so I'm going to use it um, as the top of the, the tassel there. So if I just pop that down for a minute. Can I borrow your, your round nose pliers? Yes, yes, of course you can, yeah. Do you want the little bit of scrap as well? Yes, please. There you are. Thanks. 
Okay, so we've got we've got this component here. So the other the other bits that I've used out of my stash, I've used some. Um, um, so we've got the naught point. Uh, uh, sorry, the point that point six wire. So we've got this here. Uh, I've got some uh, head pins, and I've got some jump rings as well. So different techniques. If you're if you're doing your, uh, I've rosary linked a lot of the um, a lot of the pieces. So if we have a look, so again, if you're, we've, we've talked about this before, but if you're, if you are doing rosary linking, it's different, it's different ways. It, it can be a very repetitive process, um, which can be a lovely, lovely project, quite a, um, not that you can zone out because you still want it to be neat, but um, you can, you can do it quite quickly um, and, you know, it can be quite therapeutic. So there's different ways to do it. So what, what I'd done is I'd almost made a, um, almost like a head pin, but obviously with no um, ball at the end. So your, your way of sort of speeding things up might be, especially if you're working with your plated wire, uh, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend this with your sterling because there's quite a bit of wastage. But so I've, I've cut off lengths of, lengths of wire and then I've made several where I've completed just one end. So I've done my wrap loop on here and because you're, you're repeating the same thing over and over, you tend to speed up. So I've made quite a few of sort of these, um, these sticks with the, the wrap loop at the end. So what you're going to then do is we're then going to think about the different units that we're going to make. So we've got, we've got the, this unit here, and that's, we're going to have our, our tassel at the end. So I know I'm going to use some of my jump rings uh, on there. So I'm going to pop that, that unit there. We've done that. So the other part we need to do now, I want to make the, the rosary link units here so I'm going to take my um, labradorite so we've already made up one end so I'm going to feed these on and you don't have to have you know individual um, uh, beads gemstones on there you know we, we can group a few of them together so I'm going to have I'll have four on here okay so at this point we've got one complete closed end there so what I'm going to do I'm going to start and get to that point there. So then I've made up a couple of um, completed units. So this one is not a completed one because we haven't finished the loop. So I'm then gonna thread that onto here and I just let that, and you can feel it and hear it click into place there. Hold that out of the way. And remember the, the thing you're looking at, rosary linking is really lovely because it's a uniform way of connecting. So although this, the, this is actually very uniform because we've got the Labradorite in here, but especially if you're working with, say if you get a, a bead scoop or um, you know, different colored pearls, rosary linking is actually a really lovely way of bringing it all together because you're, it's your connection, connecting of all of them that is the uniform uh, part that can sometimes bring neatness as well. So um, I've gone in, snip that off. And remember, always do sort of like that little, uh, that little test to see if you need to give that a bit of a squeeze in here. So I've made my units and you would all connect them. So it's entirely up to you how many uh, you do at a time. But remember, you're always going to need to, uh, if you've got a complete unit here, what <coughs> I couldn't do is I couldn't then use that because I've got a closed link here and a closed link here. So I'd have to... Um, do two open links to connect them together. So you do your full full length of your necklace. So if we imagine that we've got our full length here and that's going to lead us on to. So if we start looking at the components and the finished units we've got. So we've got all the rosary linking done. We've got the top of the tassel. So the other little bits that we're going to add in are the tassel itself. So we've got, I've got some head pins here and you can make these. So on, on the, um, the rose quartz one, I wanted a little bit more length. So what I've done there is I've added chain. So if you can see, so that one there, it's got the chain. So if I sort of move it, we've got the, the gemstone um, tassels there and then it's on the chain. Or you can just go with uh, what I've got here, which is just taking sections. And again, you'll get a very different look if you have, um, different amounts of, of the stone. So I'm just gonna make sure I've got nice little, no kinks in that bit. Did you hear my tummy then? Yeah, are you hungry? <laughs> Do you know, I, I'm, I'm actually starving and I woke up at four um, and had a piece of toast then. Maybe I shouldn't have had the toast. I'll share my fruit. Oh, thank you. I was staring at you when you had your, um, did you notice? Your fruit loaf. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> longingly. A little bit of sorry. Yeah. Mm. So I've just popped that on and we're going to do exactly the same here. So again, finer wire. I'm just going to do my wrap loop. So you can make these as so a different lengths, different amounts of, of stones. You pop your chain on, depends what, you know, sort of what look you want. So I'm going to have all of these here. And again, that wrap loop has given us that closed loop here so we know it's going to be nice and um, secure so if I move all these components up now and let's see where we are so now we need to start thinking about putting them um, all together so I wanted to add and again with the um, especially if you want to draw attention to uh, to gemstones as well rosary linking gives us a really nice way the whole the whole thing is, is links and then we if we've got lots of links like that we can add other details into it to create movement so and because in each of the kits you're getting lots and lots of lovely um, different shapes some are rondelles some are rounds but a lot of micro faceted stones which work very very well in like these little bubble clusters um, so I'm going to be really really indulgent now so I'm going to add in we've, we've created the links here and then I'm going to also add in little bubble clusters to these sections there so these um the, the tiny bubble clusters there of, of the gemstones I've got so I've got one of the larger ones and then I've got five smaller so I've got in the same way that I would um I've done my wrap loops there, I've prepped all of those, they're all closed here. So I'm going to take one of my, another head pin, and I'm just going to pop that on. Okay. So we're going to do exactly the same now. So we're going to start as if we were, you know, we're doing our wrap loop, slightly larger loop there. And again, before we close that loop, I'm then going to go one, two, three. And of course, not forgetting these are all sterling, st sterling, sterling silver components. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, and so, yeah, so what I would say is, um, it's, it's, yeah, it's to use, use your sterling silver findings if you're, if you're adding those in um, so that, you know, you've got that sterling silver all the way through the piece because so your wire is, um, you know, the, the framing here. So again, two options, and I'll show you, um, and maybe if you're new to jewelry making, you're thinking, you know, different ways of, of adding this in. So here, again, if we're thinking about complete, uh, complete loops, this one, I've, I've, com I've finished that off. So I've got a closed loop here. We've got a closed loop there. So if we needed to, we want to add in. So I'm going to take one of my jump rings. And jump rings are great because obviously that's the, that's the open, this is the connector that, the open loop so I can add that in here and then pick up and add into the rosary link here let's just pop that in see if I pop it in let's go I'm going to add in that one it's quite a big jump ring and that's going to sit in there oh. so if you don't want to add in you want to have just um, uh, you don't want to use the jump ring so we've got we've popped all our little wrap loops in here. So I'm going to pick up one of these, feed that in to one of the rosary links, and just let that fall. And let that, again, gravity helped you help you here, like keep all of that out of the way. So that's why it was a little bit bigger. And we can then wrap that and complete that. So just by finishing that wrap loop there, that's closed everything off. And you can see that that gives you that movement there. And that's when you go in and you use your, your jump rings or you could use your wire if you wanted to. And you just start to add everything, add everything together then. So you see, so that's going to go, I'm going to go in through this connector here. And this one. And this one here. And we can start to add in. going to go in here and then I'll add shall I add all these on I think you're bringing on oh no it's not that one is it yeah but so the same thing so if I I'll just gonna, can I add all of these on there are you bringing that one now yeah, is that all right just, yeah yeah, yeah no you. problem Thanks. Um, and I'm also I've just seen a bundle that Ross has literally put before me here oh how amazing would these be in Claire's technique coming up within this hour oh lovely oh, I want to buy these Ross they're so Eight, six, and four mil. 
Been on screen once. Second chance to buy. I want to buy those. They're amazing. Absolutely beautiful. Right, let's bring you some more gorgeous kits, shall we? Uh, whilst Claire is... Thank you. Opening and closing. Um, this is Gold Spot Sunstone. Oh, it's stunning. And, and again... Oh, it's, it's lovely. It's so be... lovely. Isn't it beautiful? Yeah, really, really lovely. It's a lovely strand. Um, and you can see, oh, yeah, alongside in your piece of jewellery. You can use this with the different coloured metals, of course. Mm. Um, but imagine that in, out in natural light. Yeah. You start seeing, yeah. of course, the adventure essence that naturally occurs. Oh, that's beautiful, Claire. It's so pretty, isn't it? Such, yeah. such a pretty combination of gemstones and those lovely connectors. Yeah, well, here it is, the other strand. You've got uh, white shell faceted rondelles. Is that what it is? That's yeah. what, it's lovely. It's really, really Shep. lovely. I think this kit's going to fly. Absolutely fly. It's so pretty. Yeah. A, we don't see, we don't see either of those gemstones very often. No. Particularly in those. Uh, and they go beautifully, don't they? They do. Here's the here's the connectors that you were just talking about. You don't just get the one. You're getting three. Uh, these are silver plated um connectors you get three of them they measure nine by 11 millimeters silver plated and then you have as well your gorgeous cubic zirconia uh, sort of encrusted within there's the wire so you can literally replicate what claire is uh, demonstrating right now yeah 19 pounds and 99 pence only uh very very good yeah because those those little connectors are the way the um the loops are on them so you can see there so I've just add, added them in there so made um just little almost like a part of a safety pin um with mm. your wire give that a little hammer and then you know you're talking a heart it was three gems on each ear yeah. there. but it's all about those how well put together those connectors are you know they sit because you've got that um almost like a trapeze effect yeah and then the lovely um the round at the bottom they do really, really like a trapeze as well. Yes, yeah. We've never, this, this, this strand of shell, by the way, is, is brand new. Um, yeah, beautiful. As are the heart I connectors. I thought I hadn't seen it. Yeah, it's very as nice. As the heart connectors. We're going to go lower. We're not even stopping here. How many do we have of this kit then? 40 left. A lot of you have actually shopped ahead. I don't blame you. Everybody paying that final low. Isn't it beautiful? I was, well, I was thinking that maybe that white was possibly um, moonstone, but... Mm. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. No, it's, it's really shell. Nice. Fourteen pounds and ninety nine pence only. I mean, again, look at that amazing piece of jewellery that Claire has created. For and I think, I, again, I think that's really. Can I take it off again, just so that you can see the the lengths of these? Sorry, is that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can that... you see again? So it's sort of like giving because a lot of it is left behind at the, um, you know, is is the... behind the the bus. So you can see how long uh, the pieces are. Oh, Claire, that's absolutely stunning. If we just hold it on the back of my hand, you can see. That's so beautiful, Claire. And it's the same technique that you're demonstrating, right? Yeah, now, it's, isn't just it? different, it's just a different it's just different combinations of um, so you can see there it's a rosary linking. When we're looking at it as talking about units, mm. you know, we've just got different units in there. But that's what the kits are very clever in that you've got your different sizes, different shapes. Of gemstone Love so it. you can you know uh, vary those Love units it. love it um okay let's do what sorry do you want me to do the hands of hand and then come back to yeah you yeah that's great yeah thank you <coughs> yeah if that's what if yeah now that's very limited now there's less than 10 of those so be quick on that one um okay this is all about the hands of hand so again this piece of jewelry that you've created oh i Please. love it these again just such clever components beautiful beautiful gemstones um but yeah i mean if, if you do you know the little uh, i just added in a little bit of cord and had the um you know like the sliding knot uh you know little stacker bracelets with them because again it's all about the connectors isn't it and where, where you connect it where you can connect in um, and everything's integral there. Oh. I've not had these. Are these new connectors? Because I've not new -ish. had these. Wonderful. Yeah, newish. You've almost got like, if you look, you've so almost got a, a, like a matrix open yeah, in the centre. Yeah, Absolutely yeah. amazing. Um, wow. So yeah, and then Paraba like colours. Those are silver plated. The Hamza hand and the hearts. Of course, the Hamza hand is a symbol which historically has been worn to ward off uh, um, negativity and sort of mm. feelings of. 
jealousy and things like that. And then you have, of course, your silver plated wire, which is a 0.6. So, you know, this, again, if you were thinking the demonstration that you're doing, you could absolutely do. Yes. Same yeah, technique. Very much so. Yeah, very much so. Your jewellery yeah. is stunning. Absolutely okay. stunning. I told you they were amazing kits and amazing jewellery designs. We'll throw back to the demonstration in a second. How many do we have of this kit available? Just shy of 100. Now, this includes lapis lazuli, which if you were to look at open the pages of a gemstone book, that's exactly the quality mm. that we should be seeing. Yeah, it's incredible strand, isn't it? Yeah. That colour's amazing. That midnight blue. Yeah, and again, the sparkle that, you're com that is coming off both of those, you mm -hmm. it's still got that great colour, but it's the sparkle as well, isn't it? Amazing. And then, of course, you have your beautiful uh, moonstone, which are three millimetres in size. Those are amazing. And again, so commercial. And how simple as well. It's just with like little, you know, leftover bits of cord that I got. You know, but it's all about that. I mean, and how on trend. Oh, they're massive. I bet the yeah. girls love those. Yeah. Yeah. You can imagine your yeah. girls like, I had oh. them on yesterday. Did you? Yeah, I did. Did you? So the girls don't get a look I in I don't there. know. No. <laughs> no. You're like, no, they're all mine. 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 17 pounds and 99 pence. Incredible. Any questions, message in, because we are live here in the studio. Um, we've got just over 100 of those, but with how popular each of the kits have been, um, I wouldn't be surprised if it's limited very, very soon. So are you ready? Yes, thank you. Thanks for that. Right. OK, so what you're thinking about now, because uh, uh, all of this is we're talking about how to connect. So you do maybe think about um, directions of if you're adding connectors or jump rings, maybe think about the direction um, as well. So I've, I've just moved. I have actually moved that one down there. So it, it was up here previously. So all I've done is just taken that um, and move this little bubble cluster. Okay. Down there, so and it's entirely up to you. You know, I, I, that's that. Those little clusters are are quite you know gem heavy. Um, you know, you could absolutely just have, maybe have three if you didn't want to have five as well. But it just gives you that lovely, lovely movement um, in there. So the other thing you might want to think about is you uh, thinking about the direction of um, the connectors that we've got. So all I've done is I've put in one jump ring that has connected into um, the, the Labradorite, into the heart setting. So I could uh, actually have um, one jump ring coming, so it's facing this way, and then I could have um, two more that might actually look and sit a bit better, actually. So what I'd probably do is add in maybe a couple more and have my rosary links coming off here, and then it would just sit uh, a little bit neater. So again, if we think about um, the direction here, I quite like when you've got the, um, the tassels, almost have that, that fan effect as well. So if we're looking here, so the direction of the jump ring uh, is facing this way, and so we're gonna add in another one so that it's, it's sitting neatly there. So I'm just gonna take my jump ring and open that up. So that's gonna go in through here. And again, so remember that's why we use that, that uh, the scrap wire in here. Uh, so we don't close up that connector. And then you've got that little bit there. So yeah, I would definitely, if, as I'm holding it up, if we look about the direction of jump rings, so we definitely need to look at that. Because if you think once I'm wearing that, I really need it to be facing like that. Whereas if we left that jump ring as it is, as it sat naturally, we're seeing it just from the side. So that's that's pointless. So that's a really good example of actually how, you know, you do need to make sure that you've got your jump rings sort of sitting in the in the right direction. Hey, there you go. You can see how that would work. Amazing. Never guess what, Claire. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I didn't even notice. Just me just like Sipping on my tea, and my, and my lid's not on. Just, oh no! Uh, there we go. It's all right. I've done it. I do it quite a lot. I do it quite a lot. Sorry about that. That's all right. Sorry about that. We've got one more kit to bring you. <sighs> oh, and again, beautiful. No, don't apologise. It. I normally check it, and I forgot. Um, look how amazing this piece of jewellery is. Again, clear every single one of these. I know I've said it a, a, a thousand times before, but your jewellery is. It, you know, I can, well, following your demonstrations, I feel confident enough to be able oh, to Oh, well, that's, that's, that. do you know what? That's the best. That and is the best commercial. feeling. If that, if that's, because that's what you want, isn't it? You want it to be, because obviously what's, you know, you make things and sometimes it can be a process that you don't even think about. So then sort of, um, if you're explaining, that's, 
uh, sometimes it can be quite difficult, can't it? So it's lovely yeah. to know that um, it's, it's doable. But if you look at all the pieces, it's all the same sorts of technique. It's just that because the kits have got just different twist. components. Yeah, just with a twist. Slight twist on it or slight, you know, the size is different. And again, it's here, you've got these really, really clever connectors. So you think of like multi strands of gemstones, yeah. you know, graduated, um, you know, always think about graduated sizes of, of gemstones. These connectors would work very well with They them. are amazing, aren't they? So yeah. first, uh, the gemstones, check this out. So you've actually got an amazing strand of blue appetite. The quality of that mm. blue appetite is stunning. So much so, and I don't think I've ever made this comparison before. I thought it was Zircon. Mm. I it's beautiful, isn't it? <coughs> it's got that much fire. Mm. I actually thought that was Ratnakiri blue. Um, then you've got this lovely matte strand of lapis lazuli, and here are those connectors that you've been raving about, Claire, from yeah. the moment that you, yeah. you sort of you so arrived clever. this morning. Yeah. What really is it clever. about these that you love so well, much? Well, I think so. So, like I've, I've used, I've had used them with the earrings because you've got that great curve. So again, looking at the connector, so it's that top one, so you could. Uh, anchor that to chain if you wanted to. So I've used it as top of earrings, mm. the top of a tassel. But yeah, if you're going to do multi-strand um, multi necklaces so, and you've got some graduated strands, haven't you? You know, we talk about that, but you actually need lots and lots of um, connecting points. Mm. Well, in there, you've got it in that almost like that little umbrella. Yeah. Um, and then you've got all the, the connectors underneath. They look almost planet-like. Yes, they do. Yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah, the stones. Yeah, really, really good. Amazing. And then you, yeah. the use of the wire, which comes within the kit as well. You're yes. getting a 0 0.6 yeah. um, gauge of wire. Three of those lovely connectors, which are so versatile, mm. aren't they? Like, as you just said, you can use them in earrings, yeah. uh, necklaces, yeah. um, which helps create multi strands. The lapis lazuli, which is that gorgeous matte texture, which I really like. It's just a nice twist. Yeah. Um, twist on how we would normally see this gemstone. And then I'm going to, uh, for me, I thought it was Ratnakiri. I thought it was Ratnakiri Zircon. It's not. It's an amazing strand of appetite. Um, check out those baskets. Now, I'm going to, can I make a request, Ross? I really want this bundle. Oh, I really want all three. Would you do yeah, it and have it, it together? Yeah. Do you know I, what I'd I would be, do? Yeah. Um, I would then obviously put, split this strand in half and it would be half that side, half that side. But if you can just, just imagine a big long line necklace mm. with all of these angel eyes. Yeah. Look how beautiful that is. Gorgeous. Oh, I love this. It's absolutely mm. amazing. Now, three separate auctions. We've got eight mil. Six mil and four millimeter. Angelite was discovered in Peru in 1987. Um, as the name suggests, immediate connections to the heavens above. And it, and it also has this angelic, beautiful color saturation, which mm. ordinarily comes in a blue. Very rare. But occasionally, we get the chance to source and purchase and offer green angelite. This is rarer than the blue, significantly rarer. Um, it has a completely different translucency, I mm, think, to really blue. Is. Yeah, yeah. Because, uh, I don't know, this is a... Uh, blue angelite can be quite matte, does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. Whereas this... It has a luminosity behind mm. it, which I just love. Now, I'm going to start with the 8 mil. And like I already know, many of you that are watching right now, I want this. Mm. And it would be alongside something like pearls. Yeah. With a tassel. Yeah. They're stunning. Yeah. Absolutely stunning. How many do we have then, Ross? Oh, no. Limited. The biggest size that we have, look how beautiful that is. Mm. You know what, when we talk about what's your favorite gemstone, what's the most beautiful gemstone, let's be honest, Green Angelite deserves to be up there. Mm. It's absolutely stunning. And yet, probably this is probably the second or third time ever I've brought it to wear. I don't see it often. That's how popular it is. We have 12 left. And we're going lower than 29.99. It's rarer than Blue Angelite. And obviously, be, I, that's crazy. That's actually wow. crazy. 
You can source angel light, you can source all gemstones from different locations. Firstly, be careful that they are the real deal. Secondly, can you guarantee that quality? I mean, this is the thing, that's some of the best green angel light I've ever seen, mm. ever, yeah. ever yeah. seen. And like you, Kathleen and Charmaine and Catherine and Vivian and West Midlands and Cheshire and Joy and Mary and, and, and Anonymous Maker, I want it, but I'm probably going to miss out. I'm probably going to miss out. It's absolutely... I'm so jealous right now because this is beautiful. There is a queue on the phone lines. Two of them left. If you, uh, if you do uh, miss this opportunity, add it to your wish list, but you're also in exactly the right place for the next. That's sold out. Let's do the six mils. Love it, Claire. Isn't mm. that beautiful? I think I'm thinking it's making me think of I think was it maybe Nor Norma's uh, piece on the Wall of Fame and there was just so there was the, the strand and then yeah. there was the pearl in one the centre. One single pearl. Yeah. Something like that. Oh. The, maybe one of your metallic pearls or um, yeah, cashew pearls, something like that. Just maybe you could knot them as well. We've got some nice pearls coming up on tomorrow's show. Perfect then, yeah. Perfect, perfect for, oh, I mean, look at that. That's, does it get any more beautiful? Does it get any more beautiful than what we're looking at right now? Now, this one's sold out, so I'm just going to have to take that away. You can still get the six, which is on your screens right now, and currently the four, uh, four mil. But I don't think it's going to be, yeah, six mil is the most commercially, uh, sorry, uh, uh, most popular size, isn't it? Yeah, it's a nice size, isn't it? You can do lots you can do with it. On, it, on its own, or, or you can group them together, and it's yeah, so it works really well. Very Nine good. pounds yeah. and ninety nine pence for this quality. Look at you all there. You love this as much as I do. I mean, going back to you know the the uh, the road across like that, the image oh. of, the, of the stretchy bracelet. So I mean, that would be nice, isn't it? If you didn't maybe want to work with a, a, as dramatic a green as, as malachite, you know, this this would work very very well, wouldn't it? That's you beautiful. To do your, the, the pink and the green. Oh, they've sold out. They've sold out. Well done. Well done. Wish list it. Wish list it. Now for the four. Oh, it's the last. Lovely. Have we got any more green angel light in the vault? No. Basically, one sold out in the first hour, and we've had this, and that's it. That's all we have. Oh, okay. or maybe something that our, our wonderful gemstone buyer Wayne needs to look out for. But the quality is what I'm raving mm. about right now. I, you know. That's the difference. It has a luminosity. It's not matte angelite, which no. is sometimes what we see. And it's still lovely, don't get me wrong. But for me, this actually, you have a transparency to mm. this, which I really love. Mm. How many do I have of these, Ross? 35 left, because straight away people are, 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 have, have made confirmations. We're going to do it in one price crash. Vivian, Mary, Pauline, Christine, London, Helen, Elaine... Uh, Heather, Fife, Leslie, Louise, Julie, Kathleen in Monmouthshire. If you want those four, you're going to have to check them out. Catherine in the Highlands wanting multiples too. Good luck. Joy, Sam, Michael. I'm, I'm, I am oh, quite yeah. jealous right now because yeah. I really love this. They are, they are amazing. I think, you know, this, is, this would be a strand, wouldn't it, that, you, you know, that when you get it home and you're looking at it and really study and enjoy them because they are... It's such a unique green. Yeah. And it's natural. Such a unique green. Uh, this is currently my favourite gemstone. Do you know what, Julie? Mm, good call. Yeah, yeah, good call. I'm with you on that. Mm. I love Angelite. I absolutely love it. Mm. Very, very nice. Hi, girls and crew. I love green Angelite. It's so beautiful. Plus, green's my favourite colour, says Jill in Manchester. Mine too. Perfect then, Jill. But yeah. you do, you, Jill, we, never, we don't really see this tone of green, mm. do we? It's on the verge of selling Lovely. out. There's two left. Oh, they've gone. Well done. Do you know what? I'm going to put them all together because oh, I love pastel shades. I, I, I gravitate more towards pastel colours than I do sort of the more vibrant. And this is why. Let's put the blue. Again, look at the quality of this blue. They've oh. been on your screens once. Oh, totally Lord. natural. <gasps> it is powder blue. That's a, that's a great description. Look at those together. Oh, it's just so calming, isn't it? Have you oh. got a strand of pearls anywhere? Can you just imagine pearls in amongst mm. those? Yeah. 
Oh, yeah. If you got the green and you can treat yourself to the blue as well, I think it's just gonna make the most amazing piece. Sold out. They are just as limited, by the way, as the greens. So this is, you know, when people say angel light, this is what we think of, isn't it? It's that beautiful, angelic, heavenly blue. Um, a gemstone that we do see on our sister channel, but one that sells out so fast. So, so, so fast. There's an innocence behind mm. this. There is that immediate sense of heaven, heavenly, calming beauty. Yeah, ethereal blue, isn't it? It is ethereal. Yeah. And yeah. Again, coming to you separately, we're going to start with the eight mil, then I'm going to bring you the six and then the four. But look at that. Imagine that as I lay it out in that long line necklace, mm. how gorgeous that would be. If you got three of the green angelites, the three colors, sorry, sizes, do you know how much that would have cost? Just under 30 pounds. Oh. That's incredible. Yeah. You know, that's an absolutely amazing deal. Mm. Even if we were to say $49.99 for all three sizes, that would be a big deal. Now, are you ready for the blue? That's so lovely, isn't it? So, so pretty. Again, look at the quality, though. Yeah. You know, it's not... You know, I said earlier on, you can sometimes see Angelite with a matte. Mm. It's not matte. It's, it it's really isn't. amazing luster. Got a level of translucency to this. Eleven pounds and ninety-nine pence. How many do I have of the eight mil? Just under thirty. But Vivian, Heather, uh, Janine, new customer, Janice, Catherine, June, and Erica. I'm with you. I, I, I've. It's. It has got this really. Be it's perfectly named, isn't it? Mm. And again, look at the consistency of colour there. You know, it's. A, it's not different sort of bandings of colour, is there? That is a beautiful uniform all the way through that strand. Yeah, Lovely. again, and I, I would, I would take, I would, I would almost ignore the, um, the price on that, and I would spend hard, do your knotting techniques, do things that you know you take, take mm. your time with, because they are, they're really, really lovely strands. You look at this is it, 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 my angel light takes my mind in so many different directions. So mm. Look at what we call the bug on your screen below the graphics, it, sort of blank out jewelry maker, create wear share, blank mm. that out for a second. What are you looking at? Are you looking at the sky and the cloud formations and that rainbow? That's what I see when mm. I see this gemstone. Mm. Yeah. It is, isn't yeah. it? It's got that yeah. wonderful heavenly beauty. Single figure remaining. I love it. I absolutely love it. We're going to bring you the six mils next. Be quick on these because they are absolutely flying. Absolutely flying out the door. If you manage to get hold of the green and the blue, oh, I'm so jealous. Well, yes, you could do. maybe just even alternate, couldn't you? That would be lovely. And I do your technique. Yeah, yeah. So it goes that much. So further. if you've got the different sizes as well, so you could do your rosary linking maybe with the larger, and then your bubble clusters with the, oh, the smaller. Oh, beautiful! Look at that. Yeah, it's lovely. Absolutely stunning. Natural. Mm. You, yeah, yeah. We're matching the price. So if you loved. The green angelite, the sizes, we are matching the prices of the green angelite sizes as well. Hello, Heather. I love my angelite necklace. I can now make matching earrings and a bracelet. Thank you. Well done. Yeah, Brilliant. beautiful. It is beautiful, isn't it? And it's, it's immediately recognisable. I think most of us almost soften as soon as you're in the mm. presence of it this gemstone. It's like a sigh, isn't it? Just like a relax and a... <sighs> yeah. I can't help but look at those image, that image, the jewelry maker image. Yes, because that, that yeah, is. yeah, definitely, it is that colour, isn't it? Yeah, it's, and the effect that the sky has on you when yeah. it's, you know, yeah. Guess what? They've sold out. I'm not surprised. The final one, four millimeters. If you are loving your rounds, by the way, your deal of the day is going to be absolutely mm. perfect, perfect for you all. Four mils. I mean, I would be creating. These, the little bubble styles. Can I yeah, borrow that yes, for a second? Yes, yes, of course, yeah. I'd be doing that, what Claire demonstrated, doing the little bubble styles and using it with your Labradorite mm. kits. And just think as well, if you were, if you did want to put the, the Angelite with other other gemstones, you know, I mean, look how well it's going with the, um, the Labradorite, isn't yeah. it? The flashes of blue. 
um, you know, it's going to go with lots that you've got in your stash as well. That actually works really nicely, doesn't it? It's, it's pulling out the labyrinth yeah, within yeah, the actual yeah. stand as well. It is. Um, wow, you're flying in for this one. Seven pounds and ninety nine pence. Will you will you let me for one second just put the two bump the two of those angel like colours alongside one another? I know this is sold out the green. I'll be adding it to my wish list for sure. So if any of you do change your mind. Um, six mil blue is sold out. The eight mil is still currently available. Still a couple of, of those. Look at them together. Beautiful. Dan, have you got just, you know, that, that, that metre long length of pearls that we had in the first hour? Yeah. Can you just pass it to me, lovely? Just because I... Oh. Mm, it would tie, tie them in, wouldn't it, if you, especially if you're going to use the, the blue and the green. They've all sold out. I'm sorry, but you can wish list it. You can get hold of the blue right now. I should stop teasing people with the green now, really, shouldn't I? I'm teasing myself as well. <laughs> they would look amazing alongside one another. £7.99 pence only. You can get hold of the blue. Um, do be quick on this, though, because they're getting quite limited. Thank you, Dan. Look. Oh, yes. Look See at what that. I mean? Yeah. <gasps> yes. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, now we've got a, a bundle. Do you get all of that? Oh, I love this. I These are amazing. Them. These are absolutely amazing. There's 30 of them, Claire. Yeah, so I, I've, I've, these these connectors, I mean, the fact that you're getting all that, the silk is, is, is wonderful in the bright colours. Amazing colours. So you're... Um, uh, chakra connectors um so what what you can actually do with these again perfect components because if you prefer prefer to um i don't know to do a quick simple make you can absolutely glue the cabochon that you get into them or if you prefer um and you wanted to bezel set them um you can uh just you know no glue and you can bezel set them as well so yeah really lovely lovely gemstones lovely connectors so there's your seven chakras but if you don't if that doesn't float your boat then literally just use them as designs and the other thing you can Oops. do is uh, again because you, you've got the connectors there so but if you want to snip those off i snip them off um and put them on stacker rings as well so that you can solder them on oh um, so they work with your master class yes yeah they'd Amazing. work very very well with that Look yeah. at those, and I don't know if you can see, but you have the little cabochons to go alongside that are calibrated to go within um, go within your, uh, your chakra connectors themselves. Look at the gemstones that you're getting there. Red garnet, blue topaz, peridot, orange garnet, iolite, citrine and amethyst, all to go within. And then the coordinating silks, which are all number four, by the way, so 0 0.6 millimetres they're your pre-threaded um, pre-threaded cords. Now, um, they're all 925 sterling silver. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of precious metal mm -hmm. that you get. It is, within. And, and the detail in them is really <coughs> nice, really, really nice. So, can we just show your ring? I mean, that you could do with these. Yeah, so you could just get some of your, um, so the wire, so you could get your sterling silver wire that you can see here, you make a, a ring shank, and mm. then you can um, take the connector, and then you just solder that and then set the stone. It works really well. Or you can just snip off if you wanted to one connector yeah. and have it as a charm on, um, on the, the, the bangle that we'll do. <coughs> loads and loads you could do. Excuse me. Little, again, little stacker bracelets if you didn't want to do any of that. Those connectors are very clever. They're beautiful. Um, and, and you've been asking, I know I said this earlier on, you've been asking for connectors and things like mm. that, these wonderful components. Yeah. I've not seen these colours in the silks before. £69.99, and pence, but we're not even closing there. That's £10 each. That's amazing, what you've just said to me, Ross. £5 per connector with the gemstones and all of those amazing silks. That's, that is very, very good, isn't it? You look at, the, I mean, look at the, the pearls, you know, that it, it, it's silk as well, isn't it? It's not, yeah. it's not the nylon, that's, that's your silk. So look at how, you know, we often talk about, don't we, with maybe uh, your jadeite or pearls of knotting with, with brightly coloured, bold coloured mm. silks. I'm gonna it's going to look incredible. Yeah. So look at that, just literally breaking, uh, breaking up that, I might have to get this bundle. Mm. That's it's amazing. Lovely. And would you sell it for £34.99? Absolutely not. Definitely not. 
Definitely, definitely not. And then, of course, you have your gemstone that literally sets within. I've only got 30 of these available, though. That's working out at £5 per sterling silver connector with the gemstones, with all those silks. Mm. I had to order silk the other day from that auction site. It literally is exactly the yeah. same. And, I, um, yeah, I've ordered a, a sort of a, a little bundle of it all um, because I want to get into, well, doing more jewellery yeah, really, yeah. at the end of the day. Yeah. Um, How lovely that you've got all of those real all you know, of those great colours, vibrant colours together. And I'm fairly sure it totaled up, and I can't remember exactly how many I had, but um, it was about £17 mm. for, for yeah. a little collection. Yeah. Um, wow, big deal for you all. Stay where you are on those phone lines. You've still got so much to bring you this Monday morning. Your deal of the day is all about... Um, your graduation of round beads. Glenn there is joining us in the studio as well in an hour's time, so most excited about that. And you've still got the gorgeous Claire McDonald's Masterclass coming up at 12 as well. So we'll be back after this. <laughs> Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Hello, Jewelry Maker. This is Glenn Lair, and I'm here to celebrate my 10th anniversary with Gemporia. That means I've been on the Gemporia channels for 10 years now. So, this is a big occasion for me, for sure, hopefully for all of you. And of course, on the Jewelry Maker, what's totally brand new that we haven't done other than one other time is where now you're able on Jewelry Maker to actually acquire one of my stones. In this particular collection you're going to see a quasar cut, Taurus ring or man in the moon where you can buy the loose stone, get your own mounting and put it together as your very own piece of jewelry. That's never been done before except brand new here on Jewelry Maker. I'm so glad to be able to host. I will be live in the studio. Tune in live from 11 to 1. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got Split Pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three, or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with Split Pay. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street, and Yarn Lane. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day 365 days a year if you have a question or query contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2 alternatively you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page jewelry maker happy to help Jewelry 
jewellery makers lovely to be with you my name is eleanor and i am joined by the fabulous claire mcdonald ah oh, thanks very much you are fabulous though thank you so much fabulousness um do you know what else is fabulous right now what's fabulous beaded jewellery yes it's yeah, it huge is. Yeah. at the moment and i know you might be thinking really hell um, Beaded jewellery's always been on Vogue. Yes, it has, but really, it's it's so much so they're writing about it in your glossy magazines, how fashion forward it is, um, mm. and I know it's something that really, as jewellery makers, it's the kind it's kind of where we start, isn't it? Actually, mm. sort of threading and mm. stretchy bracelets and maybe a macrame. Um, but some of the biggest designers in the world, the likes of Bulgari, for example, are working with rounds or rondelles or your tumbles the kind of thing that really have we've become very accustomed to here at jewelry maker so and i found this article and i wanted to share with you it uh, with you today uh, for your dealer day for these amazing bundles and it is talking about the nostalgic appeal to beaded jewelry our favorite beaded necklaces to kick off the summer um these are not your middle school summer camps beaded necklaces as you can see that is encrusted with 18 karat gold, but is that a cut of gems that we work with? Absolutely, and yeah, looking at the class as well, it's, it's very similar to some of the magnetic ones that we've done. Exactly. Isn't it? Yes. It's the kind of thing that is absolutely up your street here at JM. In the world of jewellery, diamonds, pearls and gemstones of all varieties are always seen as the star or the crowning jewel, if you will. But recently, a nostalgic jewellery format has taken the jewellery world by storm once again. Beaded necklaces. Beaded necklaces have recaptured our attention with their cheery colours, handmade craftsmanship, which, is, which often makes each one appeal. It's almost like they said your name out loud. Mm -hmm. um, and their ability to add dashes of laid-back joy to every outfit. Oh, that's lovely. I really it's like that. It's true. Yes. It's yeah. so true. That's the thing. That's maybe why we're all so smitten with your malas mm. and your rosary linking. Because it is joyous in a layback. It's not mm. stuffy. It's not formal. And don't get me wrong, I absolutely admire all the pieces of jewellery that the celebrities wore on the red carpet. But this is more fun and joyous and more realistic in terms of what we can actually wear. So if we were to analyse what makes the beaded necklace so appealing, it would be hard to decide what we love most. Is it the fond memories of earlier childhood years and making beaded pieces for Mother's Day or friendship bracelets? Maybe it's the homemade, crafty DIY quality they have, which is extremely relevant in this moment of time. Or maybe because they're just so cute. No matter what draws you to beads, we all agree that they feel special right now. Their uniqueness can speak to everyone's individual style and their customization friendly nature brings a personal feeling to your jewellery box or to someone who deserves a gift. I literally think whoever the author of this article was thinking about you as jewellery makers. I literally think they were. Don't you think? It's really, it's a nice, it's a nice article. Yes. Isn't it? Yeah. It makes me smile as well mm. because I know this is the kind of thing that you you are making. Re yeah, really relate to it. Really yeah. re relate to it. So let's read on. Next slide. No longer are beaded necklaces relegated to the bat of the metaphorical trend lines, nor are they constrained to the past eras they had a strong hold on. These are definitely not your middle school summer camp beaded necklaces. Elegant, chic, and definitely the it accessory for this summer, we might say. Below are favourite beaded necklaces on the market, but don't forget to unleash your creativity and perhaps try out some beading of your own. Yes! <laughs> it's jewellery maker, isn't it? Here are the designs. Mm. Here they are, just a few that I've pulled off various different articles. There we are, just when we thought we were over the 90s. You see these layers. Um, there we and go. It's, yeah, and it's, it's how lovely they colors. look, isn't it? But it's how that you've, you've done it yourself as well. Like, yes. That, that, yeah. It's that laid-back, joyous yeah. feeling that the you get. The process of doing it too. Bead of jewellery, this, this, this summer's biggest hit. Mm. There we go. And again, it, lovely colours. Lovely, yeah. lovely, lovely colours. Yeah. 
Beaded jewellery, 2020's hottest trend. That was 2020, and it still is, by the way. Yeah. You go into your Zara's, your top shops, your Oasis. It's all beaded necklaces. And look at all those different components. We, we've done all of those, haven't we? Yeah. It's not just the girls, by the way. The gents are all wearing them too. John Mayer, Johnny Depp. You have, oh, what's his name? The lead singer from Aerosmith. Uh, Steven Tyler, thank you. Um, all wearing beaded jewellery. Now... Heshy beads, what look like our uh, tourmalines. Gosh, How gorgeous. Lovely, Here we go. Different shapes, different colours, different sizes, different techniques, all of which I know you can do. Pearls, multi-layers. You know, mm. here's the one I showed at the beginning in the centre. And then, Claire, if you look to the right-hand side, didn't you just demonstrate that technique? Yeah, yeah. It's wonderful, isn't it? It's yeah. all the rage. Yeah. It's absolutely all the rage. So, what do you need to make beautiful beaded jewellery? You need amazing bundles. And I'm going to bring you some African jasper. Um, love this. Absolutely love this. Ten, eight, six, and four mils in your deal of the day saving. We're going to do it in one amazing price for you. So that's all of the strands. You don't have to keep dialing through uh, to get the different sizes or the graduations. It's all coming in this amazing bundle. Um, African Jasper, uh, beautiful textures. You have almost a matrix pattern across the, sur uh, across the surface. A little bit Tibetan turquoise-esque. Yes, yeah, definitely. definitely because you've got the fusion of blues and greens. Yeah. All Mother Nature. I love this. Now, just so you know, I've got 125 in this bundle, which is not a big quantity when we actually start thinking about the hottest, hot, hottest trend um, um, of the summer is beaded jewellery. And the fact that it is, again, beautiful. If I had that strand of pearls that, we, that I've re reached for I don't know how many times, I would use pearls with this. Yeah, that was the nice thing with a lot of those images, you know, the inspiration there, wasn't it? It was the, the mix of uh, very, very different shapes and sizes, different stones. So, yeah, I would, I mean, maybe you could do um, almost like, you know, with the tiny seedy pearls, maybe do your little bubble clusters oh, in, between, in between these. Yeah, beautiful. The and gents jewellery as well. Definitely gents jewellery. Perfect for your gents jewellery. Mix them up, use your metals. Use your little cluster components that you've learned during uh, Claire's first demonstration today. Um, 530 carats combined. 10, 8, 6 and your 4 mil. And 4 mil. It's all about layering. Beautiful textures. It's all about the beaded necklace. Yeah, or beaded and, and just think I that when say. you've got them in the different sizes, it's you're not really having to think about uh, what goes with what are you. You can just think about size, and maybe you want to, you know, frame some of the larger, um, the larger rounds with the smaller. There's lots and lots of different beading patterns you can use, um, but you're not, you know, you can just almost just relax into it, can't you? Not having to worry about colour because you, you know, they all go, don't they? They all so do. That's the same, same gemstone. Right. Are you? Should we start making our way towards our deal of the day? Let's do it. This right here is working out at, a, at an amazing £10 per strand for natural African jasper. I mean, that's pretty amazing, mm. isn't it? Yeah. Over 500 carats. Claire, I'm looking across to your lapis lazuli necklace that you did earlier on. Mm. This would be perfect. Yeah, very nice with that. Again, sort of, so you just take your wire... Um, and, and wrap it round, it would, would work very nicely. It would work very nicely with that lapis as well. And then you've got it? the smaller sizes, maybe, that you work yeah. down towards yeah. uh, um, sort of the graduation of. Yeah. How many strands? One, two, three, four strands that you're actually getting here. Ten pounds per strand. Um, again, all your techniques. I mean, there, there's probably not a single pe uh, technique that I, I couldn't mention that would work with your deal of the day. Twenty-four pounds and ninety-nine pence only. That's fine. That's brilliant. And, and again, that I'd be, you know, when you do your L twist, because you've got the again, it's just all about texture, isn't it? But you've got the all about the same colour, same gemstone, but just different size, isn't it? Yeah. I, I love the twist when it's. I love that you call it the L twist. Uh, yeah. Twist. Most people call it the Gemma Crow. <laughs> but thanks. The ge Gemma and L. Gemma and L. Oh, I totally didn't work, did it? Let's <laughs> start. <laughs> Gemma? <laughs> Let's say Gemma, because she does it better than me. Um, here we go. You, I know what you mean. They're yes. just kind of casually yeah, lovely. tussled. Lovely, lovely, yeah. 
And that again with some of your pearls, beautiful pearls, £24.99. Um, we're not going to stop there. This is the kind of bundle that literally I know is, is, is a necessity. It's the, it's the kind of, not strand, strandzer that we know we're going to reach for and mm. use on a regular and macrame basis. macrame as well. The macrame would work beautifully, wouldn't it? Yeah. With that. And again, your different sizes. Now, something just dawned on me, Claire. We've done little little Jasper showcases. Like, uh, I did one with, with Tom Neary, actually. He did a little showcase of Jasper. Um, and they're all sellouts, so it's one of your favourites, for sure, because of the versatility of it. The fact that you're getting all four strands, and we're not stopping there. We've got a big price crash coming your way. Everybody pays that final low. Angela, another Angela, Dawn, London, Mary, another Dawn, Elizabeth, Sam, new customers. Everybody is paying the final low. Um, I can see lots of you on the phone lines waiting to press your option one. You're not paying £24.99. £19.99 yes. for four strand. That's £5 a strand. Ten being the larger size. That's unbelievable. Let's go back to that article because I think there was a slide I missed, wasn't there, Ross? Remember the adorable handmade beaded necklace you gifted your best friend when you were little or the one your childhood best friend gave you that you still guard with your life. It's time to get it out of hiding and wrap it around your neck. Aww. I love it. Yeah, it's lovely sentiment, isn't it? It is, and this is, it's got to be one of the reasons why so many of us love jewellery making, being able to literally sort of dive into your stash, say, okay, oh, yeah, I'm going to work with some beautiful yeah. African jasper, um, just a little bit of know-how, a little bit of technique, and you can. And you've done it, yeah, it's yes. beautiful. So much jewelry. more heartfelt, though, yeah, isn't it? it is. It is. And if you are, you know, again, if you're thinking about at, at, at these sort of prices, you know, stash builders isn't it because you know again that I would say that's going to go with pretty much everything that you've got in 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 your stash color wise you've got all those different sizes so it's almost like a safe yeah a safe bet isn't it that yeah. if you wanted to maybe have um the bulk of your stretchy bracelet um you know with uh the jasper and then maybe have a really bright focal Jen, you, you could you could work with that. Yeah, you've got like one of those, uh, like a carnelian, yes. or, a, or, yeah. or a fire, um, one of those fire agates that yes. we saw earlier on. Yeah, I'm feeling orange. Feeling orangey stain. Yeah, Heat. yeah. You can feel the warmth of it. Nineteen pounds and ninety nine pence only to get hold of your African jasper. It has very much. I've, I've been trying holding back, sort of saying the word turquoise because there was this website. Yeah, it, uh, there, there's a website that really kind of, um, well, it's caused havoc, really, for us here at Jewelry Maker. We get lots of uh, uh, sort of questions and queries about it. This is Jasper. This is actual Jasper, but it has got similarities, I think, to certainly your Tibetan turquoise. Um, okay, next up, I love this bundle. This is called Chinese Jasper. Uh, it's These are lovely tones, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, amazing. Look how creamy they are. Look how beautiful Wow. Is. Isn't it beautiful? I'm going to show you all. This is why I love Chinese Jasper, because you get <gasps> these kind of markings. I mean, look at that. That's almost... Oh, gosh. It's, like a, lan lovely. it's like a landscape, isn't it? Showing you the largest because it's easier then for you to see how visually striking these are up close. Look. Wow. Totally and utterly natural. I mean, that's almost oh animal print, isn't it? It is, isn't it? I love these. Um, totally natural. Does anybody else see a tree just there? Yeah. Totally and utterly natural. You get 12 mil, so an extra strand. You get 10 mil. Oh, look at these. Mm. All natural. All Mother Nature. Wow. I love, I love. I think this is my favourite, actually. These are lovely, aren't they? They are. They are beautiful. Five strands, Claire. Because you have your 12, your 10. Yeah. 
your eight, your six, and also your four mil. Look at that. Look at that colour. All of a sudden, there's just this pop of almost sphene like green mm. in the bundle itself. Ah, oh, wow. It almost looks like it's been burnished. All Mother Nature. Um, your Chinese picture, Jasper, just absolutely loving this. Now, we are at five pounds per strand. We, we've, we've matched the previous auction, but we're going to go even lower. Think about your malas. Think about your stretchies. Think about your macrames. Even on the, on the smallest strand, you've, you've got all those beautiful markings, haven't you? Yeah. Got... Is this the Lovely. first time you've seen yes, a Chinese it is. picture? Yeah. It is yeah. gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah, all natural, Claire. The clock is ticking away. Ross, how many do I have? There's 125 of these available. And from my experience of Chinese picture, Jasper, our viewers love it. It, it flies. And I, can, I totally get it. You know, if you think about beautiful Chinese paintings, those brush strokes, it's how they work with the paint, the brush strokes itself. Again, it's like Mother Nature has literally replicated that, that work of art. I think these will be an on-screen sellout. Five strands. And it's got elements. If you know in a Mukite strand where you've got the yeah. lovely, like the raspberries and the lilacs, those sort of tones, it's almost like a, like a muted, that it isn't is. it? But then you've got on top of that colour, that colour palette, you've got all those incredible markings on there. They're beautiful, aren't they? It's a creamy, it's almost like a creamier variety. Yes. Picture Jasper. Yeah, I love it. Going so low on this. What? Three that's, that's Three for pound. all of that. Three pound per strand. For all of, yeah, 14 95 For every single one, oh, that's amazing. Absolutely amazing. Mm. And you can put colours with this as well, couldn't you? Because it is, they're, they're, they're basically earthy tones, aren't mm. they? Yeah, like in neutrals, aren't they? Yeah. Two yeah, ninety nine per strand. So if you had maybe, I don't know, the Howlite from earlier on, that can pop in there, yeah. smoky quartz, pearls, I've said that, garnet, all of those wonderful, rich, intense saturations. It's just going to complement it. <coughs> it's Excuse really me. It's going to complement it. Yeah. I love this. £14.95. pence. Liz, Denise, Sam, Dawn, Janice, Virginia, uh, Faye, Rachel, Pat, new customer, Beverly, new customer, Lorraine in Hertfordshire. Um, you need to check out your baskets. You've been crying out for beads and bundles like this. We've seen it. Uh, uh, and this deal of the day, as soon as I saw it, I was like, oh, perfect. Yeah. Absolutely perfect. Um, some of our viewers have been asking for these kind of beaded bundles. Yeah. yeah. I have 125 of these available. Do snap them up. Do snap them up. 905 carats. Awesome. Lovely. That's amazing. Mm. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Now, the last of your deal of the day. It's a great colour. You get two rather than four. It is an amazing colour. It's mm. almost neon appetite like colour. <coughs> Excuse me. Autumn Jasper. We're going to show. Oh, do you know what's just popped into my head? This is like Chrysocola without the Chrysocola price yeah, tag. Yeah, it is. <laughs> You've got this, yeah, planet Earth like patterning mm. within each and every single one of those rounds, and they'll all be unique and individual. I love, love, love this bundle. Chrysocolla without the Chrysocolla mm. price tag, basically. It's not that gemstone, but visually very similar. Mm. What? We're not even stopping here. I hope this quantity of this one then. 125 again. So, again, the techniques that you had earlier on, Perfect. the kids, yeah. you know, with your rose quartz and the, uh, and the actual turquoise that you had earlier, that would look yeah, lovely. Yeah, it would. It would work really well, wouldn't it? Really, really We're well. not even stopping at 9.99. Nobody is paying that price tag, says Ross. We're going even lower. Make your confirmations, guarantee your success, because in 32 seconds, um, we're going to go drop that price. We are dropping that price. I love these. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Brand new today, 
I love the fact that each and every single one of these bundles have been quite you know, unique mm. in their own way. It is all about the beaded jewellery, remember. It started this, this nostalgic trend, a resurgence of popularity in the summer of 2020, and that has been sustained. Um, I do think it's kind of, I don't know, it's quite heartwarming. It's definitely something that us as jewellery makers um, should feel quite, you know, quite happy about because it's the kind of designs that you've been making possibly and creating for a long, long period of time. £7.99 pence only. That's very good, isn't it? Very, I'd very good. I'd on that. Seven ninety nine. I was thinking as well with your if you've got the the kits of the the labradorite the, oh, the yeah. blues the flashes of blues would come out really nicely, wouldn't it? With beautiful, with really really nice. Uh, I mean that's that's sort of like a one stretchy bracelet price, isn't it? Yeah. Oh yeah. You do your craft events. Yeah. You sell one of yeah. those. Um, your quids in then, aren't you? Really? Well, I yeah. should imagine so. You should be. Especially if you start putting in maybe a couple of sterling silver spaces. Yeah, or maybe yeah, a, a couple of jump rings in between. Yeah. yeah. Um, you're loving this bundle. Well done. So you're getting the two sizes, the 12 and the 4 mil. Gillian, Caroline, Gillian, Alison, Susan. Hello to you, Liz, Arthur, Leslie, Angela, uh, John, another Gillian. Uh, Lynn, well done to you. Who was that? Liz in Stirlingshire. People multiplying. Caroline. Charmaine, every time I say a name, the, the, the list literally jumps down. Now, mm. I had 125. It's not a massive quantity, really, um, for a deal of the day. A lot of people will actually tune in specifically for this auction, knowing it's going to be one of the bigger savings. We've absolutely delivered. The only thing is that we don't have the quantity um, that we would like. But, yeah, I mean, that is like planet Earth captured in a gemstone. It really is, yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, really well done. Lovely. Well done. Okay, special permission has been granted from your amazing gem investor, Jake Thompson. Jake joined me last Wednesday um, for an absolutely incredible opportunity to launch some wonderful type A natural jadeite carvings. You've seen these, they're beautiful, aren't they? I got, I got so carried away with the one, I haven't seen the other. I can't wait to see the other. Oh. Which one would you like me to start with? The Lady of Mercy. And one of our lovely viewers messaged in and said, um, during last Wednesday this was, said, I've been looking for a Lady of Mercy in Jade for a long time and never really found anything that um, you were happy with. And then hopefully this will have landed on your doorstep. Oh, that's right wonderful. There. Look at the intricacy. Yeah, and she saw this. Yeah, and she that's said, oh, it, brilliant. She said, my stars have aligned. Oh, lovely. She'd been looking oh. for a Lady of Mercy. Look at the intricacy, even down to like the folds of the robe, you know, the wow. hair itself. Can you see the oh. carved necklace within? Upturned palms, of course, and very cleverly drilled. I know when you look at it like so, it doesn't look like it's drilled. But if I start tilting it towards you, that's you'll very see. very discreet, yeah, isn't it? It's at a 45 degree angle. So what that basically means is you will never see that drill hole positioning. These are master carvings. And when we launched them only on Wednesday, they absolutely flew. Look at the detail I know. there. How many do we have left? There are 19 of these left. That's it. That's it's amazing. white, natural, type A. Jake. Uh, I, I was privileged and uh, um, blessed to actually have joined Jake <coughs> in Tucson, Arizona, which is the largest gem fair in the world. And he found a Lady of Mercy in sterling silver. I'm going to say possibly not as intricate as what yours is, but take a look at this VT. Um, know that you are getting like for like quality. This is type A, much like what you're about to see right now. I'm going to start talking, take a little look at this, and then I'll, um, and all shall be revealed in terms of the price. We are here at the GGX show. Only trade people are allowed in this show. We found these two jadeite carvings from this wonderful gentleman here. And you were explaining to me this is old, this is old material, isn't it? Old material. I love this. And the price per carving, this is the Lady of Mercy female Buddha. And the price per carving, 
to the trade is here. Trade. Not retail, trade. We have the white, the green sold out. It is natural type A. You saw at Tucson, the largest gem fair in the world, old jade. So, you know, obviously, with situations over uh, uh, in uh, Burma at the moment, we are currently not sourcing any new gemstones. So this would have been purchased before. Um, so, of course, sourcing responsibly and ethically. $250, that was, to the trade. So imagine the markup. It's usually about 300 400% plus that in a jewelry house. We went significantly lower than the price that you saw earlier on. The Angel of Mercy, uh, um, <coughs> sorry, Lady of Mercy, rather. Type A, completely natural. One of the most intricate carvings that we've ever actually I delivered. You, I don't think I've seen anything as, as intricate as that. Look at the detail. It's a work of art, Claire, isn't it? I mean, look at this. Look at those yeah. scrolls. Yeah. Look at those scrolls. There are 19 of these available in your natural type A. The graphics are live. Uh, your Lady of Mercy. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, when we actually start talking about jadeite, um, it is very much, you know, your Buddhas, it's your Lady of Mercy, it's uh, the Pixu that you had, you know, all those very, very historical figures. Um, which have such amazing meaning. Well, you take the most valuable commodity that physically exists in the East, it's going to be um, sort of carved or placed into the hands of highly skilled carvers, uh, carvers rather. Um, it's going to be some of the most important and influential images, like the Lady of Mercy herself. If we were to stop here, bearing in mind that $250 was trade, that wouldn't be a bad price. Mm. When you think about it, when you would have paid 250, yeah, that's not bad if, if, if that was where we were staying. It is a, it's a carving but with a drill hole, very, very, very discreetly placed. If I turn it this way, you'll notice it's at an angle. Can you see? It actually comes down at almost like a 45 degree angle here. Uh, away from the actual Lady of Mercy herself, so it means it's not going to spoil or interrupt this work of art. Very clever, very, very clever. It's wonderful attention to detail. It, it? is. <gasps> Completely natural, certified, natural type A, white jadeite, one of the rarest forms. We have permission to repeat and bring the final opportunities, the final few opportunities for you all this morning. Um, I can't, I can't, I, do you know what? We have, I, I remember the phone lines and the call screens being an absolute frenzy. £299 only. You've got in one hand, and I know I said this the other day when I was with, with Jake, you've got the, the most valuable commodity, bar none, in the Eastern market that is jadeite. You know that ancient proverb? Gold has a value. Jadeite is priceless or gold has a price rather, jade is priceless. Um, but even more than that, you've got pure, natural, white jadeite. And then in the other hand, you have a work of art. Less than 10% of the world's jadeite cutters will even dare to, 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 to create such an amazing sculpture as this. I mean, the detail is amazing. Every time, like, I keep seeing new details. I'm just, you know, it's mesmerising. You just keep seeing something new, don't you? And everyone will be slightly unique because they're mm. all hand carved. Yeah, yeah. Split pay is on your screens. It's £100 to get one of these home currently on split pay. But that is not your price tag. Type A white jade. There are less than 20 of these available. Has anyone got a mobile phone on them that I can just borrow? Um, oh, my goodness. Yeah, we did do that. Yeah, 
I remember now. £33.33. And 33 pence. Here's me saying the royal we. It was all Jake bringing you this amazing price tag. One of the most intricate of carvings that I think we've physically brought to you here at Jewelry Maker. There's a reason why. Thank you, Dan. Um, uh, here we are. I'm just borrowing Dan's phone for a second. There's a reason why I'm doing this. So you can see how beautifully gemmy um, your, your jadeite is. You can see the translucency. You can see the detail. If I pull it further away. Oh, wow. When I hold it up close, you see the quality of the gemstone. You can see that luminosity. When I pour it, uh, pull it back slightly, you see the oh. quality of the carving. It's absolutely amazing. And this is what all the gem traders do. The jadeite purchasers will do. They'll put the mobile phone to the back of the gemstone um, so you can appreciate the translucency of your type A white jadeite. Um, completely and utterly natural. It is, isn't it? What did he then? I don't know why. My brain used to be able to remember prices. At the moment, I've got no... I can't retain information. Apparently, this is not what Jake closed at. A big price crash coming your way. There's 14 left. Pat, Angela, Lorraine, Vivian, Caroline. They might even sell out before we get to that... Uh, yeah, I don't remember us going any lower than that, but apparently we did. Master carving, worthwhile getting your certificate of, uh, of authenticity. Remember, £250 at the Tucson Gem Fair. We're in single figures and we haven't even brought the price onto your screens. Um, oh, can we do it? There's a 30 second queue on the phone lines. Please do bear with our call centre. Or alternatively, you could... Um, of course, download the app or the website, but oh, there are seven of these left. I'll hold it up to the neckline. We're going to match the price tag that Jake brought it to you for. It's going to be, I, I don't know if we're going to be able to bring you anything quite as intricate as this uh, moving forward. Pure white type A jade. It gets no better than that for an, an astonishing £69.99. It's See now, look how lovely that. I mean, you can you can really start to see, can't you? That that carving there, it's lovely against the skin. <gasps> Hampshire and Warwickshire, we can see you on the phone lines. There is a little bit of a wait. We've got people multi buying too. You have to be quick. Well done, Beverly. Well done to you, Vivian. Hello to you, Alison. Hello to you, Claire. Uh, Warwickshire, we can see you there. You're being answered. Bear with us, Claire. Faye and Inverclyde, Surrey, good luck uh, to you. Essex, good luck to you. Pembrokeshire, mm. good luck to you. Kent, good luck to you. We've got people buying threes. I don't blame you. It's the angel of mercy, or the lady of mercy, rather. Um, one of the most significant, historically significant carvings in Eastern, uh, uh, Eastern countries. Certainly one of the most peaceful uh, visions. And it's in type A natural jade. Look, from there you can see the scale of it. Even if you literally just... Well, you popped it onto uh, um, some yeah, cord. Yeah, the cord before on the, yeah, on the other one. There are two left. Well done. Well done, every single one of you. Totally natural. Again, worthwhile getting your certificate because you are talking about one of the world's rarest gemstones. Not just me casually saying that. This is widely recognised globally. Um, as being one of the world's rarest and most valuable commodities. And yeah, here we are bringing it to you at 69.99. I know it is awesome. And, and I love that show because Jake was talking about the difference between, it's a question, it, 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 it's, it's a question that has been brought up on our Facebook page. I think I, I understand. I don't go on there anymore. But um, what's the difference? You know, why we, how have we got jade when it's as rare as it is? Mm. Um, because there's a difference between actual rarity and apparent rarity and quite literally here it is we can explain it to you it's actually a question with the gia i remember it vividly actual rarity comments on the yields from the mining sites which may or may not be in decline if so this reduces the rough material available to the cut uh, to the cutting out so basically actual rarity is exactly that so fairly self-explanatory apparent rarity here we go comments on prevailing market forces which affect 
um, actual supply of workable material. This can be localised or played out by on a global scale and primarily affects consumers um, and their preferred routes to market. As a result, this is the more impactful of the two types of rarity. So, for example, the, the Western demand for jadeite is... Is, is hugely now influenced. It's not just the Chinese market. The Western demand for this gemstone is making a big difference as well. Um, okay. Have a look at them, please. Of course you yeah, can. Thank you. I can see, actually. Yeah, yeah, just, yeah. Thank you. What's better than one amazing master carving? Two. I'm, I'm, I'm going to put something out there. If this doesn't make you smile... I would be absolutely amazed. Here he is. He's the laughing Buddha. Again, he uh, was found, Jake found a laughing Buddha at the Pillar and Rose stone, uh, stone uh, um, booth themselves. Um, and we can show you the price of that too. So here it is. In Tucson, he had one Buddha that sold. Um, I think Jake actually then found it. There we go, $1,280 for natural type A. Same as what you're getting right now. Very similar sizes. Look, 28 by 22 millimeters. Ours is 27 by 27. Then he saw the exact piece that was physically purchased from this gentleman, Pillar and Ro uh, uh, Pillars and Stone. And then it had been taken from that, from that uh, booth, set into gold, 4,000. It's the exact same Buddha. Wow. You're not just getting the one. You're getting two. They are natural. They are type A. And they are the cho jolliest of chaps. This is the symbol of happiness, and you can see why. Look at, look at the hands. Look at his beautiful little belly. Look at his wonderful cheeks. The intricacy on your Buddhas I simply love. To get both, and again, they are drilled very cleverly. If I tilt it down, so he's going to face downwards just a little bit. If I point it at, a, at an angle, and it is literally 45 degrees. It really is very clever. So then there it is. There's a drill hole. If I flip it back, you don't see it. That's £100 per Buddha. What was the price earlier on that we saw over in uh, Pillar and Stone? Just over £1,200. Yeah. The natural type A jadeite. And that's for one single natural type A jadeite. I don't think the carving is vastly different either, do you? The carving itself, you know, if, if, if ours was... I'm looking at these thinking, are they inferior in terms of the carving? Absolutely not. No. Almost identical, yeah. We're at £199 for the two natural type A Burmese Buddhas. Um, even if you don't consider yourself to be Buddhist, I think most of us really love what the, the, the symbolism behind mm. the Buddha itself. It's got nothing but goodness and, and joy associated to it. Oh, wow. We're under £100. You can get hold of them on split pay today for £49.99. I know these were so popular. Um, and again, just to correct our typo on here, yeah, apologies. Um, B U -D, D H A. Apologies for the, for the, for the typo just there. Um, natural, natural Burmese type A. Buddhas. This is old jadeite for those of you. So, what we mean by that is it. Uh, somebody actually purchased this. They're beautifully carved Buddhas. Um, hope you're all well. Thank you, Michaela. Thank you, Michaela. These are amazing, aren't they? They're absolutely stunning. Mm. We've got a big price crash coming your way. Really? Did we go lower this? Yes, I remember. I remember. I remember because Jake said, you know what? I'm not going to compare with Pillar and Stone. I'm not going to compare with any of the amazing jadeite traders internationally. He says, I'm going to sit, I'm going to stand here and compare with myself. That's what he said. He says, because he has brought you almost identical Buddha previously before with Carol individually. So one. And now you've got with her. 
And he said, on this occasion, you're not going to get one Buddha, you're going to get two. Am I right in saying this now? For the same price that I launched one at months ago. It's basically a buy one, get one free wow. for natural type A, Burmese jadeite. So you saw $1,200. This is £22.49 per Buddha. Let's, let's just, can that just sink in for a second? You've just bought natural type A Burmese jadeite in a master carving for £22.49. It's insane, Claire. It is, because that's sort of like in the realms now. I mean, I was thinking like pendants, one each for the girls, but I mean, it's like earrings now, isn't it? That's yeah. That price. Absolutely. And they're beautiful. Again, you can see the difference. They are individually hand carved. So each of your Buddhas will have a slight sort of variation to them. Hand carved. How many did we have left of these? Oh, my goodness me. Incredibly, there's quantity of these. Um, but we had a bigger quantity at the beginning um, on Wednesday's show. Um, you know, you could literally just put it, what, with your gallery wire? Yeah, gallery wire, bezel, bezel strip you could do. Yeah, wire work. But, I mean, I'd just put the um, the little bit of cord, hadn't I, through in it, and it just, yeah. <coughs> at the Tucson Gem Fair, look, you can see there, this is a jeweller's that physically purchased the Buddha from the same, uh, the sa th this booth right now. There we go. Completed it in gold. Paid just over $1,200 for the Buddha. And then sold it for 4000 Literally, and that's, by the way, trade again. That is a trade price tag. Um, really, that's what you're doing right now, is you're sourcing the amazing, amazing gemstone, the Buddha um, master carving, whatever you choose to mark it up at all credit to you all power to you alison yvette hello to you beverly claire vivian dumfries and galloway new customer Anne, lancashire christine Fay, jennifer michaela you're all there you do get two you do get the two they're amazing aren't they and they literally detail just come through yeah it's incredible detail isn't it yep hands little belly button yeah he's got his little belly button yeah little belly button on his tummy and it's meant to be good luck if you rub his tummy, by the way. Nice. Brings you nice good luck. £22.49 pence only. Um, <sighs> uh, for natural Burmese type AJ dye. I love that idea. I mean, even if you just fed it onto the cord, would that yeah, work? Yeah, on the, on the cord, yeah. Can I borrow so that? So clever, isn't it? Yeah. Such a discreet. Just feed it through the drill hole. Might need a bit of, a bit of jiggery pokery. Here we are. That's probably how, really how I nice, would... Really nice, isn't it, on the... Yeah. So, yeah, do like a lark's head knot or something yeah. like that. But look how beautiful that is. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. And you're getting the two. You are getting the two. £22.49 on your split bay, which is basically what it's working out at per Buddha. Um, yeah, about, was it about six months ago? I, I remember having what I always call presenter envy because I was very, very jealous of the fact that Carol was launching um, the Buddhas alongside Jake. Um, and it was one on its own. And Jake said, look, I'm price comparing with myself. I've brought you one not so long ago. It was £44.99, one individually. You're getting two today. Um, hello to you, Linda. My carved jadeite cherubs arrived this morning and they are gorgeous, aren't they? You're oh, Linda. Yeah, I'm completely with you on that one. That's the one I was transfixed by. Look at the back, how beautiful I the know. back is as well. I mean, that's... Amazing, isn't it? Just stunning. So, I wasn't buying, but OMG, how could I not get those? Totally agree, Michaela, mm. my darling. They are so beautiful. Linda, you said about the cherub. We've got the last remaining quantities. And this, to our knowledge, is <coughs> one of the only times we've actually got what is basically a Western symbol of Christianity, isn't it? Yeah. And obviously the actually, Romans. Yes, hadn't, yeah. You think jadeite, and again, this was very much uh, um, Jake that brought this to air. You think jadeite, we're used to things like your um, circle of heaven, used to the Buddha, the Lady of Mercy, we're used to 
you know, your, your more Eastern uh, um, influences. Mm. Of course, of course, this is the most valuable commodity in there um, and has been for literally centuries. So it's unusual, to say the least, to actually get a cherub. These were so popular. I've got the last remaining cherubs available, and I actually think one of the most endearing symbols, um, but it was also some of the most popular. It's a star by, too special to be within our vault. I need them to be at home with you and enjoyed. I've got mine actually to pick up today. It's up next. Claire, you immediately oh, picked this one I up, love didn't him. you? He's amazing, he isn't really he? He really is, yeah. Again, the detail, I think it's everything about it. The, the size of it is lovely. I, could, I would just I'd wear that all the time. Me too. Lovely. Of course, we know... Um, can I pass that to you? Yeah. I know you did it earlier on. So, we know cherub, lots of different meanings behind the actual cherub itself, uh, um, whether it's because of your faith or your religion or because you believe, you know, you are a cherub for, as a symbol of love or affection, whichever, whichever way, uh, whichever way you go, it's, it's, this is definitely a Western influence, which is so, so rare to actually get carved into a type A jade. You might wear this as symbols of your children or your grandchildren or great-grandchildren. But I think he is one of the most, the sweetest Lovely. carvings we've ever done. Now, we have, when we had the opportunity to source, and again, this wasn't, I say we like it's the royal we, but this is all down to Jake. Now, when we had the opportunity to source the cherub, we bought quantity. We literally said, yes, carve as many of the cherubs as physically possible because we don't believe that this is something that certainly our jewellery maker viewers have seen before or ultimately across the entire partnership. Take a little look. If this is your first experience of the cherub himself. He's so cute. Look at him. He is so cute. Look at his little knees. Look at his little belly. I love him. Little face. It's the sweetest. I can't get that vision out of my mind now. <laughs> <laughs> He's the sweetest. 15 carats of some of the most beautifully, exquisitely, uniquely carved jadeite yeah, yeah. that we've oh, ever brought to air. Now, you said about earrings. These would be amazing earrings. They would, yeah. They would also be the most amazing ring. Standing at 40, uh, sorry, 23 millimetres. His little cheeks, his little button nose. Every single person, when we brought this to air, Jake and I, on Wednesday, multi-bought. And guess what? They're doing the same again. I can't remember what we did. You, you felt, you gravitated towards I do, I it straight him. away, yeah. didn't you? Yeah. So... Yeah. It's literally this, isn't it? You'd have to do a lark's head knot so it sits, but... Yeah. I mean, look at that. Yeah, it's perfect. That's exactly as I would wear him. Yeah. Oh, it's wonderful. And he's really... It's not It's not flat at all. It's a real, really sculptural piece. The detail, again... No, even you the, can see. The, you can yeah. make out his legs are tucked up, can't yeah. you? You can make out his hands are placed across his belly. Yeah. You and can great see his smiling as well. face. Yeah. 15 carats, the only cherub that we've ever brought to uh, we've ever brought to it. He makes Love you him. smile. Yeah. Guess how many we have left? I'm I'm I'm, I'm over the moon. 60 of these are available. That's a m much bigger quantity than I actually thought we'd had. We're at 99 pounds and 99 pence. I don't remember. I'm trying desperately. It was only a few a few days ago, but I don't actually remember what we closed this at. 
$29.99. Take the fact that this is natural Burmese jadeite out of the, uh, out of the equation for the craftsmanship of the cherub alone. Mm. Yeah. You know, if this is a jasper carved into into a, into a cherub, yeah. Yeah. most of us would expect to pay 20, at least twenty nine ninety nine. But it's not just that; it's also what the, one of the rarest, most valuable commodities that physically exists. And I think most of us, when we actually sort of cast our mind back, will go, "Oh yeah, we don't see things which are much more of a sort of a Western influence in jadeite." There's a reason for that. Because up until now, we didn't get a look in. It was all very much the sort of the Chinese, uh, uh, sort of, uh, uh, well, heritage ultimately captured within. We have a 60 second clock appearing on your screens. We are going to match that amazing, amazing price tag that Jake brought to air last Wednesday. If you weren't able to tune into that show, or maybe you didn't tune in because, I don't know, you had work commitments, whichever, you'd have missed out on this opportunity. We're not even stopping there. Do you want to say that out loud? I can't hear. In fact, it's gone. Oh. And my batteries have gone, yeah. <laughs> so I'll I don't know. I've got, I've got no idea. I'm no. going to say it out loud. Get it whilst you can. Second time to air, probably the final time. It's going under £20 for no. you today. No. Under £20. <gasps> For one of the sweetest, most endearing, beautifully intricate carvings. I've said it out loud. And again, people multi-buying on this opportunity. Oh, gosh. Steeped in sentiment. Again, whether it's your religion or your faith or whether you wear with it because cherubs to you, they are that, that symbol of love and affection. There's no right or wrong. Actually, there is a wrong. Taking Taipei Burmese jade under £20 is definitely wrong. It's a, yeah, put it on, uh, put it on some leather cord, put it on some sterling silver chain, pop a jump ring through there. There it is. That's wonderful, isn't it? I'd, I'd almost be tempted to, you know, maybe if you were happy to mix your gemstones, you know, with the um, angel light that, that, that was on there. Oh, yeah, that'd be beautiful. Yeah, very, very nice. Or the pearls or... I love that. That is a nice I idea. think that's wonderful. I'd put it with the blue angel light. Mm, yes, I'd, I'd contrast, yeah. Yeah. Put it alongside the blue angel light that we had. 90% um, of you have actually chosen to multi-buy. I don't oh. blame you. Don't forget, we still had, we, we had 60. But that's not a massive quantity uh, when the demand is so high for this beautiful gemstone. Um, there's about a two-minute queue on the phone lines. Please do bear with our call centre. Maybe use that time to download the app if you haven't done so already. It's super simple. Vivian, you've got your two. Deborah's bought two. Ella, Jana, Susan's bought four. Yvonne, Margaret, Karen's bought two. Yvette's bought two. Leslie, well done to you. Arthur, Maker, Doreen, Jacqueline, Beverly, Dumfries and Galloway. Hello to you, Rowena, West Midlands, West Yorkshire. Uh, Jill, new customer, new customer. What amazing first purchase this, mm. this is. He is the cutest, isn't he? Just the cutest, the intricacy. His little nose. And he's got a lovely face, hasn't he? I, I, just, I think always you can tell, like, the, the quality of, a, you know, the workmanship and the carving. Yeah. You know, and he's got a really lovely face. If you press your option one on the phone lines, you are guaranteed one. Um, if it's sat in your basket, whether it's quantities of fours, fives, twos or singles, we cannot guarantee you that quantity until you make your confirmations. And believe me, if you take a little look at the call yes. screen, yeah. have a little yeah. look. Um, if you have a look at the call screen, there are literally rows and rows and rows of you there. I won't have the quantity to sustain, sustain the actual demand for it. Um, there's the call screen. If we could just look, have a little look at that. There we go. Maker, well done to you in West Midlands, bought two. Margaret in Glasgow, well done to you. Dorothy in Bedfordshire, Jill in Manchester, bought two. Um, I don't blame you, they're sweet. Mm. They're endearing. And they're basically, it's as close to being a complete piece of jewellery as we can Well, yeah, I mean, we, you've just seen it there, haven't you, on the, on the, on the cord. Um, you know, or you could go very intricate as well, couldn't you? You could, you know, and add it in with other... We've matched oh, please, Jake's amazing oh, launch him. price, and it is love as him. popular then, uh, now as it was then. Now, coming up after the break, we have an absolute icon in the gemstone world joining us here at Jewelry Maker. I'm so excited because 
It literally has to be years since I've seen. Uh, Glenn Lehrer is joining you for an absolutely amazing opportunity. Speaking of works of art, there is no better description um, to describe uh, Glenn's gemstones individually as that. So, Claire, you'll be coming back with me then from yes, 12 yeah, for yeah, your masterclass. Yeah. Glenn Lehrer is stepping into the studios after this. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Hello, Jewelry Maker. This is Glenn Lair, and I'm here to celebrate my 10th anniversary with Gemporia. That means I've been on the Gemporia channels for 10 years now. So this is a big occasion for me, for sure, hopefully for all of you. And of course, on the Jewelry Maker, what's totally brand new that we haven't done other than one other time is where now you're able on Jewelry Maker to actually acquire one of my stones. In this particular collection, you're going to see a quasar cut, Taurus ring or man in the moon, where you can buy the loose stone, get your own mounting and put it together as your very own piece of jewelry. That's never been done before except brand new here on Jewelry Maker. I'm so glad to be able to host. I will be live in the studio. Tune in live from 11 to 1. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day 365 days a year if you have a question or query contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2 alternatively you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page Jewelry Maker happy to help stay interactive with Jewelry Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5 Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, 
everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call centre with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Welcome back Jewelry Makers and welcome to a wonderful guest that I've had the privilege of knowing across different channels uh, yes. for many years. For Glenn many Lera. years now. That's right. Good to be here, folks. And you're celebrating a decade. A decade with Gemporia. Uh, That's the, the awesome. The Gemporia group. So yeah, this is an amazing um, hallmark, I guess. Yeah. Like, major milestone, as we might say. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Um, I mean, Glenn, I, I mean, earlier on I was obviously giving you a little bit of an in introduction. Um, and I said, you know, re you have, you really are an internationally recognized, uh, an icon in the world of gemstone carving. I don't want to blush, but yeah, right. um, <laughs> it's true, it's true, though, it's true. So yeah. for those people that maybe uh, haven't met you before, I know you have, will have viewers who will tr follow you across the Master Sister That's channels right. as well. Um, would you mind just introducing yourself and just sort of let us all know um, you, okay. the history? Well, well, keeping it simple <laughs> and, and not too long-winded, um, I've been gem cutting for 44 years. Um, basically, I'm a self-taught uh, lapidarist and, and kind of I call myself more of a gem artist because I've fused more than one discipline in the, the uh, discipline of lapidary. You know, you could be a faceter, you could be a carver, uh, you could do cameos and taglio, you could do cabochons. There's all different levels of uh, lapidary that are incorporated in that big one umbrella. But what I've done over my career is I started out as a carver. So 10 years into my self-taught career, having already gotten my, gone back to college and studied mineralogy and crystallography because I really wanted to understand the science behind the art because that's such an important thing. Mm. Lapidary or gem carving and cutting really requires some knowledge of um, the, the science behind it. It's not like just you know learning how to brush stroke paint on a canvas or chisel away marble. It really requires understanding how light travels through a transparent natural material. And that, that really required me understanding the geology and mineralogy behind it. So after doing that, I then went ahead and focused on my career and got my gemology degree. And of course I did appraising just so I could learn the industry, worked a little bit in retail jewelry because I really wanted to understand the background of what I was doing and the market I wanted to appeal to or sell to. And then I went back to my art and I really started to fuse two skill levels together as a faceter, which is how you cut facets to critical angles so light travels through, but also as a carver, how you actually carve and polish, which is a much more difficult discipline. So that is kind of my 44 year pathway. And then early on in my career, I started enter entering in uh, cutting awards and winning uh, major awards around the world. Um, plus also ending up on a lot of magazine covers, maybe over 24 magazine mm -hmm. covers in my 44 years of career. Wow. So I have quite a, you know, that's how people got to know me. And of course, I'm famous for cutting the world's largest transparent gemstone at GIA, the Bahia. Yes. So um, I think we've done some promotions here on the Gems TV around Bahia. But if you're not familiar with it, all you have to do is type in Bahia, G-I-A, B-A-H-I-A, G-I-A, and you'll know it because that's where this huge, massive sculpture that I did hangs in the lobby of the, the school at Gemological Institute of America where I got my gemology degree, 
where a lot of individuals have gotten their, their associated jeweler's degree mm -hmm. and things like that. So it's a really an acclaimed school. And all that put together, then uh, about 11 years ago, I was on a mine tour uh, with the International Colored Stone Association. I think we're about to queue up so you can see the Bahia right there. Yeah. Can we show that? So that's, that's over four, wow. that's about five feet tall. It hangs in the lobby at GIA. It's quite large. It's considered the world's largest, most transparent gemstone. Um, so you can really see what it looks like. So when you walk into the lobby of GIA, that is the prominent piece in the, in the lobby as an entrance into their museum. So that's quite an accolade to put a feather in my cap along with all the awards and magazines and play. So that's kind of made me world renowned for what I do. And of course, I'm known for cutting some very, very valuable sapphires and rubies in the five and seven, up to seven digit price wow. range. So I've done some very, very valuable stones. But when I met Steve on a mine tour trip over about uh, 2011, so that would be a little under, a little over 10 years ago, um, somehow he, he had heard about me. We came together and we were talking on this mine tour and he said, you know, I have an idea, are you interested? And I go, well, the difficult thing is to be able to take my one-off pieces and be able to produce them enough at a price point that TV requires, and that has never been done before, to be able to create my kind of work in a way that we can make it affordable on TV sales and things like that, because everything I had done up to that point was really on the higher a couture level. And Steve then said to me, he says, well, I have a friend of mine in, in, in India who has a factory who you should meet and I think he you can work alongside of him and so that was thus my relationship with Manoj Goyal who produces a lot of jewelry here on Jamporia and and the TV channels um, from that we we created I went I've been going back and forth from India over 10 years bringing in lots of different wow. um, lots of different um, skills, training those people to be able to do what I do. We're just going to change your mic. And I tell you what, I'll show you all these because you, okay. you notice your mic's cracking a little bit there, uh, Glenn. But I mean, look at these amazing photographs here. So you worked with the team um, over in India, sort of really uh, sort of teaching them. I mean, what an amazing opportunity for them too, uh, to be taught by um, your good self. I mean, this is, you said earlier on about sort of how gemstones react to light, the bending of light. I mean, you can really see. Um, whenever I look at Glenn's pieces, I always talk about a mixture of straight lines and curved lines. Yes. Um, yeah. You have both of that in, in these designs. Well, when I car well, actually the background that I have that as a fine artist is, has always been um, kind of a, kind of an impressionistic style. Monet is a real, you know, inspiration for me. So my work has a real fanciful yeah. feel to it. So like when I do the carvings, people or designers, like this case, Mark Schneider, who designed the angel around this, saw an angel in the carving that I did. Here's, uh, here's the gems in gemology, uh, the one on the far right, the golden topaz. That's, that's what Bahia looked like in the rough, by the way, just before we actually cut it. So wow. you can really see how big the piece was. You can kind of see two parallel diagonal lines right where both of our hands are covered in, and that's how big it really is. So you get a sense of how large the Bahia is, and that's what you see hanging now at GIA. That's, I mean, it's absolutely beautiful. Um, and here is a chance. I believe I recall the second time ever that our jewelry maker viewers have had a chance to purchase that's your correct. stones. Um, so, I mean, we're, we're, we're 12 years. So this is really exciting. And I loved what you said, uh, Glenn, in, in that short VT that we were playing before. This is a really exciting opportunity for our lovely viewers to take one of your amazing stones and create your own individual design. That's true. And that's, you know, in the world of jewelry and gemstones, my main, my main business for 44 years is I just create the gemstone and I let the jewelry designers decide how they interpret it and what they want to do with it. So really it's been up to the inspiration where I kind of start, I always make a joke that, you know, this is one art form that you only fulfill half of the picture. And then, and then the artist, the jewelry designer, who is the second artist, comes by and interprets it and adds their own style or flair to it. So, but here, of course, on Gemporia with the Gems TV, of course, it's a full picture what you have. But here on Jewelry Maker, this is an opportunity how I sell to the industry, which has been my mainstay over all these years, which is 
the opportunity for you at home as a jewelry maker to be able to take one of these stones and do your own art interpretation around it or do your own setting work. So it really, you can call it your own, so to speak. And that's more true to my, my, my roots, you might mm -hmm. say. You know, the, the GEMS TV channel has been more like a jump off, like, okay, now that we created the stones, let me create art that the mounting or the frame that fulfills the finished pieces for people at home can actually have a finished piece of jewelry. But here on Jewelry Maker, it's actually our harking back to, to my roots of how I do everything or whatever I do, it's always going to that jewelry designer or that gem dealer who then sells it worldwide. Yeah, I mean, absolutely amazing. And what you achieve, you know, I'm looking at sort of the, the slide before us here as well, that's taking one stone and maybe sort of your standard calibration. Right, right. And look how the, the transformation. That's it. So here you have the tanzanites, and you can see the big oval up at the top and how black and what we call extinction. Not a lot of color going in it or not a lot of life. Taking that same stone and transforming it into my, my iconic Taurus ring on your left hand of your screen. And then down below, um, kind of the early roots of what I might call my matrix cut, which we've done. Um, it's not quite what the matrix cut eventually became, but you can see a standard emerald mm -hmm. cut there that's not very life and doesn't really exhibit the best of colors, but then recutting it into an incredible stone that has a lot of life in both of these are really fine AAA grade tanzanites. Oh, it's abs uh, wow, absolutely beautiful. Well, let's make these opportunities available to our, our viewers at home. Um, one of my all-time favorite gemstones is the garnet, so I oh. love that we're starting. Um, we have in the center here, and I know this has its story behind it as well, the diamond that's set yes. in the center. Right. So that is the Taurus ring. That's what I received my U.S. patent on, is the Taurus ring itself, which is where it all began here on Gemporia as well, which was the very first stone I ever brought here to the channel. And what you're seeing is a diamond set in the middle. But if you just take a, ring, a standard round brilliant stone mm -hmm. and you drill a hole to drop a diamond in, that hole actually will destroy the brilliance inside the body of the stone. So the magic is if we can flip it over and show them sure. the backside, which is that inverted cone, that's the combination of it. And I received a US patent. I think we can bring the patent up on the screen for being, and this is, there's, there, you'll see, this is actually a US patent. Uh, awarded to me, one of only two patents ever given for a gemstone cut. And you can kind of see in the diagram on the right-hand side, yep. down by the culet, it actually shows where it cuts off midway down the pavilion, which is your long uh, cone shape at the bottom. And you're actually inverting the same angle, but going negative into the stone. That blocks the reflection of the drill hole. So you don't see the drill hole. It doesn't destroy the brilliance. And the other thing that the cone does is it, whenever you do a curved surface, it condenses light. So it's creating a light reflection that you would never achieve in a standard round brilliant. Mm -hmm. Thus, those elements is why I was awarded the, the Taurus ring with the hole in the middle. And, and of course, then it allows you to set any other gemstone like you saw with the tanzanites. But in the case of the garnet, the white diamond, and our standard generally is white diamond here, really sets off a nice contrast. Also, if we can show the side profile sure. so you can see how shallow that is. So you can see how if it was a regular round brilliant, it would continue down in a V shape. That V shape now is inverted in the cone, but it's half the depth. So if you were to create your own piece of jewelry, it could lay very flat on the finger without it sticking up not yeah. requiring as much metal. Yeah. It really is a very, and I know a lot of people say to me over the years, I really don't like stones sticking up too high. And of course, for men's jewelry, they love it. For cufflings, they love it. For men's jewelry, because most men don't want stones sticking up in the rings. They don't like a lot of metal. So this is an ideal kind of men's stone for a very tight wedding band type ring. But also for a lot of a lot of individual women, they love it so that it lays very flat. Oh, absolutely. You don't need a lot of metal for it to stick up in the air. So it really is a it really is an innovative way that I was able to get one of these, able to create a, a unique standalone brand where people now look at it and go, oh, that's a that's a layer, you know, that's a layer Taurus ring. They know it now because yeah, so I'm the one and only one in the world. I mean, yeah, have people tried to copy me? Yeah, they have, but the end result is it always still looks like my stone. So they they don't they don't want they want their own idea to stand out. So you can kind of see what it looks like in a mounting there on your screen. Yeah. It's really it's really amazing. 
It's and that's a wonderful way for you to incorporate it. Also, if you are, I know in the industry, because I deal with a lot of jewelry manufacturing houses or jewelry supply houses, they offer calibrated stones. So these are calibrated. So I, I think we're talking uh, six, eight, uh, no, seven. So we've just done the... Uh, this is a seven. Seven, and I've we got the eight We just got the now. nine, this and is then the eight. the eight. So when you go and look for an already made mounting, all you got to do is type in, okay, I need a seven millimeter mounting in a ring. I know I do that in America. I'm sure there's similar supply houses here if you are a jeweler. We've got some on the website. Yeah, mm -hmm. and you can go there, and then they'll show you what they've pre-made as we call a semi-mount, which means it's a mounting without a stone in the middle. And then you can pick that mounting, and this stone will fit right in it yep. just the way you are. You see some on the, on the website here. Yep. You can pick those designs that you want right from there that fills your fancy, and from there you're able to then fit any one of my stones into those mountings. So, because it's simply the same stone with a classical girdle going all the way around, and a, a simple prong setting or bezel setting, however, whatever turns you on. Uh, and it's also, not, uh, one more thing, I didn't mean to interrupt you. No, okay, it's also great because if you are into stud earrings and you want to get a pair, What's nice about these is they sit very flat for a yeah. lot of face up. And, and if you were to put a seven or an eight or a nine millimeter stone, you have gravity working against you in a traditional round That's brilliant. True. But in a, in a Taurus ring, you're going to get all that same brilliance, but laying very flush to the ear if Gosh, you know how to set it. That would be amazing right. in, in the ear. Yeah, let me just move my hair out of the way. So, the, yeah, that's making this. Oh. So you can see how flat, but a lot of face-up color, we call that. Oh, beautiful. The first uh, sold out, by the way, the first opportunities. We've only got three garnets. So we have the nine, now we've got the eight, and we also have the seven millimeters. We're immediately into single figures. Uh, well, you have to remember, this is the second time ever that our jewelry maker audience have had the chance to get hold of one of your amazing works of art, Glenn. Um, a lot of love for you all. Hello, Mandy, saying good morning, Glenn. My most prized possession is my mystic topaz Taurus, uh, Taurus ring. Your pieces are stunningly beautiful. Thank you. Oh, you're so welcome, Mandy. That's wonderful. And, and that's constantly people say that's their go-to piece of jewelry in their mm. case because it's, it stands out like every, nobody else's jewelry. It's called what we call uh, excuse me jewelry. Like people come up to you, yeah. excuse me, <laughs> you know, where did you get that? And, that's, and I know all of us love to be stopped on the street and have, and have, it's just like a wardrobe or your shoes or your handbag. You love to be stopped to be asked sure. where you get it because it really kind of tells us that, that you've got good taste and you really have a good eye and other people are attracted to that. Yeah, that totally, totally. Um, and, and the Taurus ring, Suzanne, I think you're thinking earrings. We've got people multi-buying on this one. Um, in terms of quantities, I, I shouldn't. We're not going to have vast quantities of these because they take a lot of time. They don't take a they? lot. They're Each a tourist. lot longer than a traditional cut stone. I mean, only because anytime you go internally in a stone to carve that cone, you're increasing your time by three to four fold to polish it. It's not like on flat faceting where when you lay down pure graphic, I mean pure physics, mm. you have a whole wheel covering that whole facet at one time. Mm -hmm. You can polish that within a relatively quick time. But if you have a curve, you can only hit uh, X point of it as you go around in the circle. Okay. So whenever you're doing carving and cutting, like carving, you've increased your time by minimum of threefold. So these do take longer, thus they're a little bit more elevated cut, but the end result is a more elevated look and a more valuable stone in and of itself, and it's become quite a collector's item in and of itself, standalone. I mean, yeah, absolutely, for sure. Um, what was the inspiration behind the Taurus? Because I... Uh, that's, that's a long story, but <laughs> short story end of that is, ever since I was a child, I you know, and playing with child games, I used to close my eyes, and I'd see a circle inside of a circle, two colors, you know, for me it was, um, green on the inside and purple on the outside, but I always thought, wow, this is really cool. And, and, and a child's game where I would close my eyes and move that, that colored circle of a ring inside of a ring of color, kind of like your spiling nebulae that we can show you right there. Mm -hmm. Not knowing what I was seeing, thinking everybody could see that. Of course, when you're a child, everybody can see this and know that. But Long story short is, as I progressed, I'd always, and then when I got into lapidary, I always wanted to put a stone inside of a stone, quickly learning that putting a diamond inside of a, the center of a stone just didn't work because I had mentioned earlier how it kills the, um, the brilliance of the stone. Mm -hmm. Thus, 
I then began to research what a torrid shape is. It's the most prevalent form in nature. It's the iris of our eye, it's the rings. There it is, the hurricane off the coast of Florida. You saw the spiraling nebulae, it's the rings on a tree, it's the flower. It is the most prevalent form in which all life uh, comes together to create physical form is in, around this geometry of a circle inside of a circle. It's also been considered uh, the time-space continuum, according to Einstein, uh, as you move away. And if you were to able to step outside what you're looking at, like the, like the ring inside of a ring, you're actually looking from the fourth dimension back at the third dimension. Here's the iris of the eye. You will see a torrid shape everywhere. So it's not spelled yes, like the, the astrological bull, but torrid <coughs> being T-O-R-U-S, Taurus, mm -hmm. and that, thus it's a scientific term for a ring inside of a ring to be able to determine it. There it is. It will show you the electromagnetic uh, energy around your body. So if you were to look down the crown of the head, it is exactly a circle inside of a circle. It's also the electromagnetic energy of the Earth. Mm -hmm. It's the same electromagnetic energy. So it is an incredible form that I think archetypally we all are drawn to. We all are attracted to it. Thus, the, torrid, the Taurus ring gemstone was an inspiration based on nature's most prevalent form, birth, as we know, in every form and shape that you can think of. Wow. Oh, well, these, there's literally one left. So um, do feel free to send your messages in. Hello to you, Miss Janet, saying totally stunning pieces, Glenn. You are a gemstone genius. Oh, thank you, Miss Janet. Yeah. Um, That's beautiful. I couldn't have said it better myself, Miss Janet. So, uh, hello, Millie B. Hello to you. Saying I have, Hi. is that a familiar name? Yes, of yes. course, lovely. Uh, I have uh, most of Glenn's uh, cuts in all my jewelry from uh, Sister Channel. Uh, these will blow you away. And I've met Glenn at the ball. He's amazing. Oh, thank you. Yes. Thank you very much. Well, that. hopefully someday soon we're going to be able to start those again. Well, rumor has it. Ooh. But I'm not the official. I'm only I'm only the I'm only the gnat or the fly on the wall overhearing. But I hear they may re bring them back. But that's no. You didn't hear that from me as an. A given. Oh no. Not yeah, a given. No. I'm only hearing rumors. And that would rumors, be nice, though. In, in order to know if it's true, you have to check it out. So maybe, hopefully, because I know it's a great opportunity for many of you when you come to the ball, and I'm here during the holiday season, that you have an opportunity to meet me directly and we can talk. Because I know a lot of you reach out to me on social media, mm -hmm. and that's the way that we are able to stay prevalent and live in our communication. Many of you send me your ideas or share with me your questions. You're also welcome right now, I think, can they type in and ask if they have a question? Yeah. Other than, of course, all the, all the kudos you're giving me right now is fantastic. But if you have a question, we are also here to answer any of those, especially if you have a question about how to set the Taurus ring. I can share a little bit of that, of course, over the you know TV in a short bit of time. But they really are, most importantly, they really are like a traditional cut stone. If you see the side profile, it has that traditional, what we call the girdle, which is the outer edge of the stone going all the way around. The tweezers are kind of hiding that. If we show it face on, you can kind of see it. Um, One sec. I've just realized there's a little little speck on this Yeah, one. that happens. Uh, and the cameras see everything, you know? Oh, they do. They're, they, yeah, they, you're they're, they're, they're better than the naked eye, yep. unfortunately. Here we go. But, um, there we go. Um, and all of these are certified, of course, Jake, aren't they? So first two have completely sold out. Um, this is the uh, the last of the garnets that we actually have available. So um, you're talking about the girdle. The girdle is the circumference of the stone, right? Yeah, that's right. So, so right around, I'm going to put my finger here and you can kind of see it. And maybe we can turn it this way towards the camera, sure. like that way towards the camera so you can see, uh -huh, okay, see yeah. the girdle. And he, they can focus. So you see that little rim around the outside right there, right where my nail is? That's called a girdle on every gemstone. And that girdle is kind of a facet that's... Thick enough so it's not a sharp point from what we call the crown meeting the pavilion. You actually have just a little bit of a facet going around the edge. That's for safety reasons, but it also makes it for, se for setting a stone when you're cutting your seat or your bearing seat for your prong to set it over, of course. Mm -hmm. And that's also critical. So most of you are skilled jewelers, I assume, if you're willing to run this, go this way versus buying a finished piece of jewelry. You want your own interpretation of what to do and also doing it with your own price point, so to speak, or you have clients that are interested in it that you're reselling it to, then you would understand the setting of it like that. But you can kind of see how beautiful it looks against, against your ring right now. It looks great with diamonds in that band. It almost looks like a finished piece of jewelry 
doing yeah, all that. Yeah, it's totally, totally. And of course, the, the diamond in the center, you would obviously be working with some of the finest grades. Yeah, I don't skimp. I know a lot of jewelry. I'm not just this TV channel. I'm, I'm not going to say what, I, what other jewelers, but I've been on other TV channels around the world. And a lot of times they use eye included, which means you can see inclusions with the naked mm. eye, and IJ colors, which are a little bit yellow fancy. But really, because these are elevated cuts, all the, all the diamonds that I use are SI grade, which means you can't see any inclusions with the naked eye. You actually have to use a 10 power loop. So yeah. to me, that's actually sufficient. And more importantly on diamonds, it's all about color, which is an absence of color. How white can you make that diamond? So GH is what we call designer jewelry, you know, because D is, is what we, you know, based on GIA's grading of color, D is considered the highest. They didn't do ABC because that was so used over that people would be confused so that when they decide to give a, a color grade, they started at D, E, F, and G. And those would be what face up colorless, as we call it. So I decided, you know, to give it the, the max, I gave it a GH color, so that's super fine. Mm -hmm. It looks white face up to the naked eye. You know, when you actually grade a diamond, you don't grade it looking through the table. You actually grade it looking through the side profile of pavilion. And that takes a real trained eye. So a really good trained eye would never be able to see the difference between an E color and an H or G color face up anyway. So altogether, it's the top of the line diamond that I didn't want to skimp because the cuts that I do are so elevated and take a lot more time. Thus, they are a little bit more elevated in the price, but the end result comes out. It's to worth meet. it, yeah. It's perfect. You can't skimp on quality. No. And everything we do here is of top quality. Wow. As if we can get home. You can get one of Glenn's amazing Taurus uh, rings in garnet. For as little as twenty-six pounds and sixty-six pence, I mean that's amazing. That is an amazing price. That's an amazing price. The way they've set up the split pay. That's such a, that's such a beautiful, brilliant way yeah. of, of doing it. Break it down into bite-sized chunks. Now, we only have two fourteen millstones to oh, okay. bring you. I'm going to start with the amethyst. Have you got favorites that you like to cut? You know, that's probably the most prevalent question I get asked over and over throughout my career. You know yeah. what my answer is? My favorite gemstone is the one I'm working on at yeah, that time. Yeah, good answer. Yeah, that's a good answer. <laughs> you know, what would I wear? Well, I might not wear every color. You know, I have, a, I have a preference towards sapphire, but that's my taste. You know, I like the blue color in sapphire or some of the fancy bicolored sapphires, mm -hmm. you know, and that's, you know, that's an, for my elevated jewelry. But I like all the colors of the rainbow. I mean, I'm an artist. So for me, it's about whatever that stone is, I'm going to bring the best out in that stone that's possible. Oh. So here you have it with the amethyst. Wow. An incredible size. This is over five carat stone you're looking at, 14 millimeter round. The largest we offer here at any of the channels on Gemporia. Maybe I might go a little bit bigger on the Gem Collector, but uh -huh. those are my couture stones where you're going to pay in the, the it's, more it's in gone. the four-figured range, not in this price range that you're getting here. Wow, I'm uh, well done. It's sold out. Well done. That quick. I've got one more 14 millimeter stone. Um, I love. Uh, it was actually your tourist ring that introduced me to the fern green. Yeah. Isn't it beautiful? It is so beautiful because. This is a great fern green quartz. It's a great color. It, it, it harkens to that same similar color that you might see in Peridot, but in Peridot, you're looking in four or five figures for something that big. Mm -hmm. Just because Peridot from Pakistan does come that large, but we're talking hundreds of pounds per yeah. carat. Oh. And in a six carat, you know, fern green quartz, you can imagine it, but, but, but if it was a Peridot, but in quartz, you're getting in a tremendous price point with that very similar color. Now, this chartreuse green is definitely one of those because my wife, this is my wife's favorite color, actually. Yeah, it's mine. Aside favorite. from the red garnet, mm. which she wears all the time, she also loves peridot. That's her favorite color, is that chartreuse green. And, I, and there are very few stones in that range. And of course, I mentioned the peridot. Also, there's tourmaline in that color range. Uh, you would, and I can't think of any other gemstone in the, in the field other than fern green you know, that is able to do this. So you're getting something totally unique in this color range without breaking the bank, as we say, without overdoing the bank. And again, a big face up. Again, wow. we can show you that side profile, sure. how low it would sit. So you would never, you, if, you know, if you did a 14 millimeter ring like that, it would stand up so high on the finger 
that it would be almost so much metal it would want to tip over. But yeah. a stone this wide face up, it's quite shallow so you can actually make a, a ring that would sit comfortable to the finger and not be tipping over and back and forth. I'm looking at the board, it definitely looks like it's gone gone already, Sold oversubscribed. Out. Sold so, out. I mean, obviously there are many of, many of you out there also that absolutely love this color. It's beautiful. Um, if this is your first ever layer of piece, honestly, it won't be your last. They're so, That's right. Oh, they're so beautiful. Now, they were the larger sizes. Yes. Um, from here we have 12 mil. Right. Beautiful. I mean, yes, I love that. Excuse me, jewelry. These are yeah. totally excuse me Very, stones. very total. Because they're so unique. Which one would you like me to start with? Sorry, Ross. Let's stick with the fern green. Yes, yeah, so there were so many collars oversubscribed, right? Yeah. So if you didn't get the 14, you'll have the opportunity to get a 12 millimeter here. So if you're still on the line, hang on, because I think this one's going to go in about a flash of a second, so For to sure. speak. But a little bit smaller, a little bit more delicate. 14, uh, 12 millimeter, same color, same tones. Oh, look at that. And you're it, getting that chartreuse green color like no other stone. Harkin, very similar to Peridot, very similar to some of the, the tourmalines that I've seen come out of Africa and Brazil. But again, in the fern green, you're not spending a fortune on the stone because it's in quartz, but are the same color tones, exactly the same color tone. I'm noticing, certainly with the amethyst earlier on, quartz really works, doesn't it, with your, with your card? It yes, it does. Well, one, it allows you, there are not many gemstones in the world that you can go that big on. Uh -huh. So, you know, quartz does come in larger sizes, so it's an ideal stone to really do the bigger stones that you can do where I've done quartz is up to 30 millimeters because it's the only stone that I can think of that it comes that large that I can do something that big in. Wow. Obviously to do when we do a TV channel or even here when we offer 20 rings of identical sizes they all have to be 12 millimeter you have to source that material you know if you were to think about doing it in garnet it would be almost prohibitive if you're going to do it even in sky blue topaz as it gets very expensive but you know we're able to source certain gemstones of this size i think in sky blue topaz it's possible you know we do do that size we also do 14 but we do 10s and 12s and sky blues but other stones you're running into the wall of of how big that stone can come yeah. you know how big you can do it and i think in my whole career of doing a taurus ring like this you know Doing a 12 millimeter sapphire is almost prohibitive and over the screen, but to be able to do this color, even in a tourmaline, I might be able to do one or two, but honestly, you can't do anything more than ones. And when we're doing something like this, we're able to offer, you know, in the rings and jewelry that we do, 20 pieces. That's still pushing the envelope, but we're able to do it. And in here, in this case, I don't know how many are available on the 12 millimeter. Do we know the quantity? Uh, this is on the verge of selling out, and I think we've got two other uh, gems. Uh, lovely message from Margaret in Wrexham saying, got the fern green and the amethyst last year, and they are gorgeous. Just looking at them makes my heart sing. Oh, wow, Margaret. And, and did, you, did you get them in finished jewelry, or did you buy them here on the jewelry maker last year when I was here? Oh. I'd love to hear what you did with them also. Yes. And also, if any of you, which is also great, and I think it's an inspiration to other people, is if you can send us in a picture, you know, or post it on the sure. social media of a uh, jewelry maker or all things Gem uh, Gemporia, which are a couple of the social media channels. Mm -hmm. um, you can post what you, you got the loose stone and show the rest of the world what you've done with that because I think that also helps other people have an idea what they can, that it's possible and what they can do with it. Now here's a gorgeous, incredible citrine. Oh, well, it's, just, so, it's selling before we even brought it to air. It, oh um, my gosh. Yeah. Are these pre-posted pre on the in, on the website or Literally, not? Literally, we'd, we'd, we'd loaded the graphics, and as, as soon as that happened, someone checked out straight away. Well, the, uh, it, oh, it sold out already. It's Look gone. at that. And it's actually what you see on the screen right there. It, it looks a little pale here, but I can tell you in real life, there are, that color yeah. you're seeing right there, can we have the rotating? That's more true the color of Absolutely. the stone, am I correct? Yeah, totally. I think it's more true. More so, of a sunflower. Yeah, yellow. the lighting in here it can really wash a stone out. It's not... It's, it's a great lighting in studios for, for us to look good on the screen, yeah. but it's not often the ideal lighting for the gemstone. So I, I want to always, you know, one of the things that I'm always a real stickler about is when, I, when we do photography or I hire a photographer to photograph my jewelry, I say, do not, do not do special color enhancement. I want that stone to look exactly like it does in real life under ideal gem lighting 
so that when the customer receives it, there's no surprises. It doesn't no, look, absolutely. You don't want to make it look too much better or you don't want to make it washed out. Oh, I'm so this is a sky beautiful. blue topaz, is that And one? I'm making a right hash of this. Yes, oh, that's a hard I mean, one, huh? Yeah. This is a beautiful stone. Uh, I love it in the sky. And blue. I'm a big fan of sky blue topaz because I do a lot of aquamarines. And I also do a lot of sky blues if you tune in and see. Because to me, this is the aquamarine color. Yeah, you need, you need a wider tweezers. These are, you got what's called melee tweezers, we call them, for really small stones, but getting big stones are really hard. So you might have two different size tweezers. For the bigger stones, you need it. There's that color. What you see there oh, is wow. what you're getting. And I'm a big fan. You asked me what are some of my favorite stones. Well, I do love sky blue topaz yeah. because I also do a lot in aquamarine, and I do a lot of sky blue. So if you were to tune in on Gem Collector, you might see some of my sky blues. Do I set diamonds? Actually, I, I like to set emeralds in the middle of them, Ooh, but I also set diamonds as well in some of my finer aquamarines. But I love to set emeralds in the middle because I love the color combination. But here you can see the brilliance of that diamond. Look how clean that diamond looks. It is so bright. Is it okay. gone already? It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. Right. Now, we're about to move into 11 millimeters, and we have literally two. Wow. Amethyst and a paparaccia quartz. So they're just one of each, or no, uh, no, we have more than one of each? Or we have more than one of each? Of the paparaccia, we have more. Oh, good. Um, six of the paparaccia quartz. Oh, great. This is a popular five color. Five of the amethyst. Perfect, because I have to tell you that we're going to do the amethyst first amethyst first okay, well amethyst is a, you know it's like the color i wear you can see i love that color as well it is it is truly the what it's one of those gemstones that never goes out of phase no. it, it never i mean some people go crazy about certain stones and then it's in and out of phase amethyst never goes out of phase it never ever ever becomes boring or out of fashion as you would say it's always in fashion and it's an incredible stone it is really the stone of royalty. Yes. So, you know, back in the days before the common folks like you and me could own gemstones, mm -hmm. you couldn't own an amethyst because they were strictly reserved only for royalty and, and the church. And those were the only individuals. That's how precious they considered amethyst. Really very valuable single stones like this. So in that case, you're now able to own your own amethyst. Is this, is this a true amethyst or kind of, I can't tell from the screen whether it's a Rose de France, which is a softer. They're, they're calling it an amethyst, but let's see how it looks against the white here in the screen. Well, yeah, it's an amethyst. It's not a rose de France. So it, it's, it's, there's, a, there's a subtle line. Fine line. There's a fine line. Fine but line. I'll tell you, the rose de France is so, <coughs> so beautiful. It's actually become even, I think, more popular nowadays mm. than the amethyst. So this is kind of on the border between the two tones. And you say, well, what's the difference between rose de France and amethyst? It all has to do with the color range. And, it's, and somewhere along the line, somebody's got to draw that line, you know, that you would see and say, okay, that's a rose de France. And that's, an, you know, it's like... It's really a subjective thing. Yeah, subjective to the eye of the beholder. Hello to you, Avon, saying uh, uh, these gemstones are just stunning. Thank you for giving us the opportunity oh, to have welcome. them. Um, Lorraine's also messaged in, uh, Glenn, saying, I have this, and it's beautiful and mesmerizing. That tells you right there. This is coming from somebody on the outside who loves it, owns it, and already knows how mesmerizing it is. And I think that's really true, you know, what they're saying. Here we have, hi, Ellie and Glenn. I have five of the pod quartzes. Five of them. Wow. Whoa. Not done anything with them yet. Just look at them and have a, and, and she has a great day. She, I've heard this over and over again, Kim, that people, you know, whether they, I say, well, what are you going to do with it? They go, nothing. I'm just going to put it in my collection. Yeah. And it's going to sit in my collection as a, as a hallmark piece or a collectible heirloom or something like that, that eventually could be set and sized. Um, into something, but it's not uncommon what, what um, she just said, Kim just mentioned, is that it's true. A lot of times they just look at it and it makes their day look brighter and happy. It makes them happy. You know, my jewelry, I think my gemstones make people feel happy and I love that. And this is the color of happiness. Paparaccia. This is by far, whenever we do jewelry on, on, on uh, Gems TV, it is by far one of the most top sellers hard to hold in stock because it's really an intense orange color with some pink flashes in it 
Um, I, can, I don't know if we can get the pinks to go off here, but when you get it at home, you will yeah. see the pink flashes. Again, the lighting has to be just right to get the pinks, but you're getting that golden and that, that kind of what I call mandarin orange. Tone. Yeah. And you can kind of see a little bit of a pinkish tone to the orange while it's sitting on Ellie's hand there. You kind of get it. So it's not an orange orange and it's not yeah. a yellow yellow, but it's got a little secondary, secondary tone of that pink that you want. Thus, we call it paparazzi quartz. It's you know, absolute. named after the famous and very valuable paparazzi sapphires that are extremely rare and again in the in the five, six digit range for, for a stone like that and only one offs that would be unreachable by most of us. Yeah, well, well yeah, for sure. Uh, I mean, that's absolutely, it's joy, isn't it? It's it is. absolute joy. It is. To look that's at right. the color and that's, that's why I keep rocking it back so you can just see those wall of mirrors almost within the gemstone. It is. It has kind of a warmish tone to it. And that you can kind of see with that, that negative concave cone as Ellie's moving it back and forth. Notice how it's hitting the light on the outer facets where you're getting those little bright lights. Yeah. And you wouldn't get that from another angle if you had just a reflective facet on the opposite side. It's actually the light condensing in that inner cone. You can kind of see the light condensing in that little inner ring right around where the halos the diamond. But then it condenses the light on that inner cone reflecting on the outer facets so that you're getting a reflection of light like stars in the space. You know, kind of, kind of a, excuse me, I had a good breakfast, so. <laughs> <laughs> but long story short is it's really creating a light reflection that is, that as we've heard earlier from somebody calling in how mesmerizing oh, it is they mesmerizing. are. I and I think we're almost oversubscribed. I'm looking at the board. So you better check it out real quick because in no time we only had six of these and it looks like they're almost fully subscribed. Yeah, there's literally one left over allocated. Um, do keep those messages coming through. Any messages that you have uh, for Jake? We have one of the fastest sellers this morning, Glenn, was the sky blue topaz. And I'm with you. I always describe it, and do correct me if you feel it. If I'm, I, I describe it as a naturally brilliant forming gemstone because yes, right. it, 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 it has amazing brilliance and clarity, right? Yes, it does. So team that with your amazing mm, art. You and get cut. a you get a what we call a double whammy, maybe, or a double yeah. a double entendre, maybe. Two things at once that kind of perplex the mind, as they say. So yeah, and and, and it is it's one of my favorite colors. Actually, I don't have the book here, but I can show you. I've obviously done some amazing things with aquamarine and blue topaz yeah because it is you did ask me one of my some of my favorite well it is definitely ranks up there it's up with there. my gemstone sky blue topaz of course swiss is a little bit more intense uh we don't we do some swiss as well but the sky blue to me is really beautiful because it's a soft kind of baby blue color it's it's hard to compare again it's hard it's hard to distinguish it between that and an aquamarine yeah. that goes for hundreds of dollars or hundreds of more pounds per carat that you never wouldn't be able to do it. So we were able to pull one more sky blue topaz out, right? A 10 millimeter. A 10 so that, mil. So that's really unusual. So we were lucky to find one more in the vaults right now. How many are in this collection? Just this one or more? Seven. Seven, okay, Seven well, of them. there's your chance. I know blue, you know, blue Blue is, a, is the most popular color. You know, first, obviously the most, rapid selling gemstone in the jewelry world is a diamond only because there's lots of them mm -hmm. and people think a diamond because of what they are mm -hmm. but the next selling gemstone is anything in blue yep. whether it's blue sapphire uh, blue topaz blue aquamarine even the blue tourmalines that go for tr you know a tremendous amount of money today they are up there so anything in the blue like you see here this glacier icy blue is such in demand you you just you're so lucky to get one of these stones Wow, at three and a half carats. I mean, yeah, it's absolutely breathtaking. Yeah. Flew out the door. And what mount would you say? Because again, our, our, our viewers can actually get hold of mounts, a few mounts that we've got on the website. So would you say just a standard 10 millimeter? Yeah, I think yeah? A 10, any, well, you need a 10 millimeter because it needs to fit to in there. Stone. 10 millimeter for the round. Uh, look at the reflection on that. It's yeah, just tremendous it's what you're getting in this, this stone. <clears throat> so um, anything in the 10 millimeter, I mean, even if you could find a partial bezel mounting, mm -hmm. a full bezel mounting, obviously you have to have mm -hmm. some la some goldsmithing skills because bezel setting takes a little bit more skill than prong setting does, but you know, a little bit more care because you're tapping down the bezel all the way around. I'm a big fan of partial bezels, which is half bezels holding it with some opening on it. That's one of my favorite ways to set the stone. But of course, what the what the beauty of a prong setting gives you is it exposes the whole stone without the metal yeah. covering much of it. So every one of it is, and you know, and and also. 
you know, some people, this is an ideal stone because what you're going to get is that you, if obviously, you know, preference is often setting it in a white metal. So white metal means it's going to stay icy white. Just bear in mind, if you do a yellow mounting, it may add a little bit of yellow color to your stone mm -hmm. because it's, you know, the stone is, a, is a, what I call a house of mirrors. You know, house of mirrors means it's there to reflect light. And if you cover it over with a yellow stone, you might get a little bit of that yellow tone. But a lot of people like that that excellent little tone because it adds a little bit of a, that natural um, aquamarine color that has some greenish tones to it. So it could be almost fooling the eye that it's a natural aquamarine versus a natural sky blue topaz. But obviously the board's lit up. We've I, got one left. One left. That's how fast they go. Yeah, literally one Understandable. left. Understandable. And you can see how popular That's the blue color is. That's an amazing deal. $99.99. All certified, as of course. Uh, sorry, what was that? The Azura blue. Oh, wow. So you've spoken about blues. This is the Azure Blue. Yeah. The Azure Blue is like no other blue. It's an incredible. It's, um, you know, created in the same way we create the Paparaccia. But this is a blue that I don't think there's any gemstone in the world that comes naturally, that comes close to this color. Maybe a cornflower blue sapphire. Yeah. Close. Wow. And we call it Azure Blue because it really is that Azure color. It, and if you put it next to a Swiss blue, you would immediately see the difference. They don't have that same color tone. You know, and I'm a big stickler as an artist. I really try to do it. And we haven't done azures and jewelry for years. So is that gone already? It's gone. I'm not surprised. Yeah, yeah. It's we gone. don't have azures. That's a rare find right there. I don't even, I'm surprised it's still in the coffers here in the vaults yeah. of, of Gems TV or, or Gemporia that we actually had one like that. Yeah, we don't see it very often. Now, we do have another sky blue opportunity. If you got hold of the, the larger size, can you imagine these as ma matching earrings, you know? Yeah, how many do we have of these? Do we know? This is your chance to buy two for perfect Eleven. Earring. Eleven. Okay, so there's enough here to be able to do matching earrings. They're mm -hmm. a great size, of course, in the, um, what are we talking about? Eight millimeters? So eight millimeters are perfect earring size. So if you want to do a great pair of studs, this would be the stone to get. So you would want to pick up two wow. of these to do a pair of studs. Perfect like like you would think of diamond studs, but here you have sky blue topaz with a diamond in the middle. And because it's eight millimeters, it's not going to stick up very high on your ear. It's a perfect stone do for you know, stud earrings. With this in particular, Glenn, I'm looking at, especially on the back of my hand right now, you know that, 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 that inner circle that you were talking about earlier right. on? It literally lights up. Look. Yes, it does. Because it's, it's invertedly cut within what we call the critical angle or the uh -huh. I ideal refractive angle. So whenever you're faceting a stone on the outside, you have to take into consideration the angles because that's what captures the light. If you go a little too steep or a little too shallow, you do what's called windowed or extinction. It blacks yep. out. Mm -hmm. So that cone actually has to be an ideal angle. So the, the ideal angle in quartz is what we call or we call the, not the critical angle, but the ideal angle would be 42. So when we do the cone, we're doing it at 45, a little bit greater than the ideal angle because then as you rotate it, as she, Ellie's rotating it, it doesn't go out or it doesn't window on you. No, it's, oh, it's absolutely amazing. And I think in particular with the sky blue topaz, I'm seeing that, um, loving that, 89 pounds. That's amazing. Hang on, why, why, we've got, Dave likes to call it, why have you got the egg timer on the screen? I don't know if you've noticed that, Glenn. Oh, what's the timer for? Um, uh, it normally suggests that Ross is going to go even lower. Oh. On okay, the price well. tag. Wow. Because yeah. his, his, his excuse is the fact that we've got a little bit more quantity. It's still right. a layer of peace. Um, but how amazing. How awesome. That we're, the second time ever in Joy Maker history that this You've is done this? That we've done, no, no that we've done a, a layer of show. Oh, yeah. This is my so second appearance. So this is hugely right? exciting. Yeah, and it I is. think the last time we, you scouted in, right? No, I was live when we were broadcasting at the other studios. Oh, of course. And then I think I might have Skyped in again. Yeah, I did Skype in, I think, in December when yeah. I, I couldn't make it. I was scheduled to be here, but, of course, Omicron hit, so I canceled my trip. I didn't want to fly and, and didn't want to risk all kinds of things. So here we have it. So now we're zeroed out. Where are we going? For, wow. It's going to be an on-screen sellout. There are five of these left. Seven. Wow. That's, a, that's amazing. And I see, now when I'm looking up at the board, that says times two. 
So a lot of people rec took my recommendation and got two. Yes. Very smart. Do I see somebody over on the other board bidding four? Is yes, that, but they need so to check it out. If they, they need want to check board. out. So if you want all four to do a double pair, or maybe they're thinking of doing a pair of earrings, mm -hmm. a ring, and a pendant all as a suite, that's, yeah, that's, wow. that's amazing. So they would all match. Um, so yeah, very, very, very smart. Oh, they're stunning. I, I loved your description earlier, uh, sort of icy glacial blue. It is. And what we, why we say glacier blue is when you see snow or you see melting ice from the glaciers yeah. and the pools of water that collect below it have that color blue. And scientifically speaking, what that means is there's a lot of oxygen in the water coming from the melted snow mm. and thus glacier blue because when you look at the snow on glaciers, they have so much oxygen in it that it gives it that glaciery blue color. Amazing. So that's a little bit of, that's a little scientific tidbit that I love, I love because I, being not only an artist, I also use a lot of my scientific knowledge that I try to weave into all the gemstone cuts I do. Well, you, if you describe something as glacial blue, immediately you know it, don't yeah, you? Right. Yeah, right. You know that color. Now, we have two more. And I believe for everyone, uh, pretty much every single one has sold out so far. Everything has sold out. Oh, wow. I think there's one of the garnets. Sorry, one of the garnets. Um, those two are Rose de France. That, now you'll see the Rose de France color that I'm talking and about. And the Paparazzi Quartz. Oh, of course. That'll be gone in no time. Also, Rose de France is an incredible color. Back in the day when I was in gemology school, they introduced us to Rose de France. Are we going to do that now? Yeah. Okay. So, and everybody thought, oh, it's just pale amethyst. Well, I love this color. Me too. And, it, and now it's so hard to get because when you're in an amethyst mine, and I've been to Rio Grande do Sul, it's actually where Steve and I first connected in Rio Grande do Sul, Brazil, where this material, generally it's Brazilian material. When you go in and you mine for amethyst in this mine, only about 2% will produce this color. And back in the day, nobody really cared for it because they thought it was a pale amethyst. But now, so many designers have gotten hold of it that it's way more popular than, it's almost more in demand than amethyst. Mm. This soft, kind of lavenderish, violet tone that when I go to buy the rough of Rose de France, they charge me as much for the rough in Rose de France as they do in the amethyst. Yeah. So I, I can just see because why. It's, yeah. What, why what, what why it's it? expensive. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. It's really beautiful. It's this beautiful lavender stone that's like no other. It has a general soft tone. I'm a big fan of pastels. I love pastel colors. Mm, me too. So whenever I find gemstones of pastel tones, I gobble them up, whether it's a tourmaline mm -hmm. or an amethyst. You know, those are, those are my go-to pastel colors. And even I like pastel sapphire, where somebody says, well, I'm a big fan of royal blues which is a super dark color, you know, I'm thinking, no, I really like more the cornflower pastel blues in okay. sapphire. And when it comes to amethyst, I'm a big fan, and I've done some major pieces of my own in uh, Rose de France, major pieces in some of my couture jewelry. Well, it, 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 it's kind of leaning towards your kunzites, isn't it? That feminine, yes, beautiful pink. Yes, yes, it is. It is very, it doesn't have that pinkish tone like kunzite. It's more yeah. of a pure lavender, but it is reaching like the kunzite. The nice thing about it is it's not so light sensitive, where kunzite is light sensitive. True, and yes. you have to be careful leaving it out in north in daylight all the time because it, it's sensitive to UV light. Amethyst is also kind of sensitive, but not as sensitive. So it's not something you would leave on your windowsill, but you don't have to worry about it wearing during the time and middle of the day wearing it. It would take many, many years for it to fade out in both of these because of the U. It's also the impurity that creates that color is sensitive to UV light, as we say. 79 pounds and 99 pence. This is literally the penultimate of, uh, of Glenn's You'd pay that just tourist. for the diamond, wouldn't you? Sure. If you were at any kind of jewelry store. Sure. So you're getting an extra bonus as a stone with a diamond set in it, not to include the labor where how we set the stone. And I just want you to mention now, which I haven't done throughout the show, is we do not glue in these diamonds in the center. They are all put in what we call by mechanical laser welding. So as we turn it over, I'm going to show you. So the tubing comes through, as you see, those four little nubs you see. Yeah. And what we do is we put a ring of gold on the outside of those four nubs. And with a laser welder, we weld those four nubs to the outer ring. Therefore, it is mechanically set, not glued in place. That's so it can't amazing. fall out. So I, you know, you use glue as a last hold or just something to lock it down. But in jewelry, everything has to be mechanical because glue 
generally wears out in so many years. This will never wear out and you should never lose your diamond in the center. We have 18. Wow, that's quite a number. And I already see already those that have checked out. Mm -hmm. Angela and Denise have gotten two, and Denise got three. Congratulations, you guys. So obviously, you're thinking sweets here, or you're thinking pears. Oh. Brilliant idea. We're going to go lower. Whoa. I know. Okay, well, they're already <laughs> out of the game, aren't they? Yeah. Uh, Angela and Denise, you've got nothing to worry about. Everybody pays that final low price. 27 of you have the final 12. It's the lowest price that we've seen of the entire collection, and I'm amazed that we're going anywhere near this. Wow. Wow. That's phenomenal. That, that, yeah, 34 pounds and 99 pence can get hold of that. I mean, again, just to go back, I know we've already spoken about this, Glenn, but this is... It, it's far more labor intensive than a round brilliant cart. Or yeah, when I, the way I explain it as a lapidaris, that's very true, Ellie, to bring that point up. What I often mention is that if I was to cut a round brilliant in the same shape as a standard round brilliant faceted stone, um, basically what I do is it may take me a little around two hours to cut a round brilliant. Mm. But to do the torus ring, minus setting the diamond in the middle, just cutting the torus ring, I'm looking at four to six hours to do something wow. like that. So it's two to three times the labor to do that. And then, of course, lasering in, you know, setting the diamond in the tube and lasering in a place, you add another half hour. It's, there's a lot of labor that's gone into this. So to even think at this price point is actually... I mean, I, I, can't even, I can't even offer it at that price. So wow. obviously you're really, there's no way I can compete with what you're doing like this. Uh, so okay, I, I can't give I an can't, I can't wrap my head around how you do that. No, not me. But I'm not, I'm fine with everything. Whatever you guys hear, I'm 100% backing you on that. Well, stay where you are on those phone lines. Don't abandon those calls. There are two left currently, currently. The last of the Taurus ring in celebration to 10 years, a decade with wonderful Glenn. Um, and really when I think about the certain stones, I immediately think of you. And I think Papadacha Quartz is one of those right, because I remember the reaction to seeing right. your Taurus. And even though you had sold Papadacha and other yeah, cuts, sure. you had never, you, you had, you had never seen it. The Taurus ring is what set it afire, I think, here yeah. at, at Gemporia which was, you know, though they had done the round brilliance and the mm -hmm. fancy shapes that you might see in traditional faceted stones, once it hit the, once the, once the paparaccia quartz went into a torus shape, it was, it was, it was history, wasn't it? Yeah, like literally, I, I'm like, talk, okay, paparaccia quartz, I think of this, I think of exactly of what, what I'm holding right now. Um, for me, it's the perfect marriage, the perfect marriage I, I, get, it's, I mean, look at that. Even out of, out of focus, you could see that flash of yellow. That's right. And then how it blends to the orange. And as you said, what the camera's not picking up is the is the pink. Is the pink flash that you would see at home. Mm -hmm. and, but, you know, against your hand, depending on your screen tone, because when I look at it, the screen, split screen, can we show the split screen? There it is. The split screen, you're going to see a little bit of that pinkish tone yeah. interweaving in the color like that. So... And again, it really depends on your, your, your computer screen or your television screen and how the colors adjusted to it. But when you get it home, you're probably going to see that pink, secondary, very subtle pink tone that makes it that orangey, that pinkish orange, as we say. We're not stopping. So the, and when you compare this to a citrine, you're going to know immediately yeah. it's not a citrine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll very. Know it. It, 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 may, it, it may look like it's a citrine, yeah. but it's not. There's no way a citrine can have that color tone. No, because there is a definite sort of orangey, pinky, peachy That's right. almost. Wait, I can see if you just click it a little bit, maybe we can capture it in there. It really has to do with the lighting here in the studios, as I mentioned earlier. It's, it's there, but there, you start there. to you get some of the pink tones. About 6 o'clock? Yeah, right about there, exactly. Yeah, we go. But it's much more apparent when it's you actually get it home. When you get it home, right. Um, we're not even going to stop here. Now, Ross, how many do we have? 20. Wow. We've jumped back up in size, 9 mil. Again, remember, those of you that, that have just tuned in, the beauty of the Taurus ring and the fact that it is shallower. I prefer a shallower stone as well. And why is that? So, I mean, I can say why, but I'm going to let you say why. For, for the, the very same reasons that you said. I don't, li I don't like it catching. I don't want it catching on my clothes. I want to know that the stone's safe. 
Uh, so it doesn't stick out. No. And I think a, you're you're like a lot of people. They like things laying very flush to the skin, mm -hmm. and that's the beauty of the Taurus ring. That was partly one of the reasons why I invented this cut. One, I wanted to set the diamond in the middle. Two, I wanted to lay very flush to the skin, and three, I could do very. Uh, very, very big face-up stones. Plus, there's a lot of gemstones in the world that come flat. And to sure, cut yeah. it into a traditional cut stone, you lose so much weight that a lot of it gets eaten up in the cutting. You know, we often say, well, how much, you know, to be able to get, what is this, a 1.7 carat stone, you have to start out in traditional cutting with over, a, uh, it would be two, four, six, almost eight carat piece of rough. Wow. So you, if you're lucky to get 20% yield. But if I can buy a flat crystal in, in any of this material or come up with a big chunky piece and slice it, uh -huh. I'm actually getting a 30% yield. Wow. So I might have only needed a six carat versus an eight carat. Well, every carat that you buy that for in the rough gets lost as dust into the, into the earth Oof, thing because it's just powder. And that costs money, that adds cost to the piece. But if you can come away with a 30% yield, you're able to bring a stone at a much better price point without spending a lot on, uh, spending as much on the rough. So there's a real advantage to this cut, not for all rough, you know, certain stones are blockier and chunkier, but there are a lot of sapphires. There's a lot of crystals in the world that come flat. And when I go shopping for market, I'll, I'm always looking for the flattest stones I can find for this cut. Well, it's absolutely incredible. This is your finale, uh, Glen Lara Taurus piece. And we have matched incredibly, for arguably one of the most popular gemstones in this cut, we've matched the lowest price tag. I, I don't know how. I, I, I'm, and I'm almost nervous sat next to you, Glenn, when it's got $69.99 on the, on the right. screens. But well, never. Um, but, like you said earlier on, once you get one home, I mean, it looks amazing now when you see it in person, that's when it becomes a, a collection because right. so many people go on to buy a second and a third of your piece. Right. They, they actually start the collection. They, yeah. You know, they can't, once they have one, they can't stop. You know, no. I think it's, I, it's, a, it's a good addiction, as we say. Yeah, totally. Um, ooh, exciting. We keep pulling more out of the... We out do, out of the vaults, huh? Quasar. Yeah. Can you, um, it, there are only nine of the Quasar here, unfortunately. Right. So the Quasar, so different. Yes. Um, now, we're going to actually start with the larger L Rose de France. So could you, t Glenn, t talk to us about what the Quasar cut is all about? Well, the Quasar was an evolutionary cut in that we had already, and, and it came out of inspiration here on Gemporia, which was, I had already had, you know, tremendous success for the first two to three years on Gemporia with, with my Taurus ring. And it was selling like crazy. People were waiting in the queue to get one. And then Steve said to me, you know, Glenn, it's great. The Taurus ring's doing really well. But you might want to think about doing a new cut because to keep it going, you know, at some point, there's, uh, you know, we're, we might level off with the Taurus ring, but we want to have something in the wings that will take your, your brand mm -hmm. up to another notch and, and offer the, the, the collector or the jewelry buyer another option of your work and really expand your brand. And I looked at Steve at first and go, Steve, this took, you know, the Taurus <laughs> ring took me 10 years <laughs> in the making, you know, and then another 10 years to get people to even accept the idea of what I did. Because honestly, the jewelry industry kind of poo-pooed the Taurus ring. Like, why did you drill a hole in the middle? What do you want a diamond in? You know, it's like all those smart people in the industry kind of didn't get it, you know? Yep. They absolutely didn't get it. It was actually all of you on Gemporia that took it to a, to a whole new level because you were waiting for something like this. Mm -hmm. But the jewelry industry thinks they know their customer better than anybody. And in some cases, that might be true. In other cases, they're actually blocking and keeping things of new ideas out there. Yeah. But that was what the Taurus ring was. So I'm, I'm very flexible. So I decided, OK, let me come up with an idea. So I went home, and I started dreaming it up. And one morning, I woke up, and in my mind's eye, I could see this cut. And it had still the cone in it, which was the magic ingredient in the Taurus ring. But instead of drilling the hole through the center, I put a concave dish for a table. So what you're going to see here as we bring it on the screen, you're going to see, I'm going to bring my nail up right here sure. to it, right there, right in the middle. It's not a flat table. It's actually a concave dish that pushes the cone farther away. So you see it, it almost looks like 
I don't know how to say it, makes the light go farther away with the cone. So you can see the concave dish at the angle. It condenses light and makes light more farther away or recedes the image. So it pushes the cone farther away. But what you then get in the outer edges of the stone is the reflection of the cone, almost like a petals on a flower. They are literally, see. aren't they? Like they a are like a, We flower. can have the turntable piece come up. You can see what I'm talking about. So the way the light is condensing, you can kind of see it showing up as rods of light in the outer petals. Well, those rods of light are actually the condensing of the cone. But when you look down the center, most people think it's another gemstone. So, like somebody actually wrote me once and said, oh, I got one of your gemstones, but it's missing the diamond in the middle. I said, no, not possible. Send me a picture. And they sent me a picture. Oh, you don't, it, there is no diamond in the center. It's a quasar cut. It's meant to look optically like another stone is set in the center. Uh -huh. So it's an optical illusion. So the quasar was an evolutionary cut following behind the, the success of the Taurus ring. And now, of course, one of the most successful shows we have here is the Quasar Cut, and this is your opportunity to have one. Gosh. Same depth, very similar to the same shallow depth as a Taurus ring, so you have that shallow look. Same girdle, so easy to set as we show it to you. But without a secondary diamond in it, it's really slightly different. It has a totally different optics, like you can see that you would not get, again, in the Taurus ring these petals of what looks like leaves or petals on a flower actually reflecting on the outer facets. But that's actually the lines of light that you see there as the petals are actually the condensing of the light in the cone that you can see. When you look towards the center, you see the condensing of light, almost like a cat's eye ray light. That's the optical squeezing of light into a single ray, thus reflecting around on the outside. It's completely a radically different gemstone, and I know many of you out there are big fans of the quasar for that reason. Some people don't like the diamond set in the middle. Obviously, there's each something for everybody, but the quasar fits the bill where you still have a shallow stone with an optical illusion. I mean, what a conversation starter as well. Oh, my God. Be, yeah. yeah, I mean, it's one of those ones that... That was the largest quasar cut, by the way. We're uh, going to step into a uh, Foon Green Quartz in a second. But yeah, I can imagine, like you said, it's, uh, excuse me, but what, to talk about the inspiration and, oh, this is not something that's, you know, you're going to find in every single You're not going to see has. it anywhere. You're going to no. only see here on Gemporia or directly from me on my website. Mm -hmm. But I have to say, even the prices here are prices you won't see on my website. And I'm wow. not ashamed because I don't want to underprice my, my, my main you know, business partners that I have here. So if it honestly, it's more, if you do want one and you and we they were all sold out here, you can get one on my website, but I'm gonna tell you now is the time to get it because you're obviously gonna get a price point that I can't match or, or not, I don't want to match because my main business is, yeah, do I love selling to you directly? Yes, but for me, the partnership that I have with Gempore is really my mainstay, so mm -hmm. to speak. So I want to be sure that I'm supporting all of you here on Gempore and knowing that the price points that you're getting here are phenomenal prices for what they are. Oh, they, I, I mean, I can see it. Look, 10 millimeters, I love it in the, in the fern green. Yeah, look at it. Look how it condenses the light. Yeah, It's a great kind of peridot olive green color that you can't compete with. Well, that's almost got like a spiral. Is it me that's seeing this? Almost it's, like a it's spiral. It's the condensing of the light with that concave, the yeah. combination of the cone and the concave dish in the middle. So instead of most gemstones that have a flat table, uh -huh. it's actually a little bit of flatness and then it dishes down. Not too deep, not too shallow, but look at what it does to the light. It creates, everything optically creates light. So it's all about painting with light, which is one of my kind of taglines. I paint with light. Love That's that. my style as an artist. Um, but also it's what, what it does. So anytime you do a concave dish like this, you're pushing light farther away. And of course, like in a cabochon or a buff top gemstone where the crown is actually cur or, or raised up as a convex, it actually makes things magnify, so everything looks closer to the eye. Obviously, both of these have their advantage, but if you know how to use them and paint with them, you're getting something like this in the quasar cut itself. Wow, it's, uh, again, sixty nine ninety nine. That's amazing, absolutely amazing. And we've got some of our viewers, uh, uh, Glenn, do some unbelievable silversmithing. You know, they work with uh, beautiful uh, wire. Claire McDonald, the designer, she, 
Uh, she teaches that bezel setting. So all of these... So all of these skills are usable for this. Totally. So here you are able to get a stone and then you tune into your favorite presenter who's got a skill in jewelry, whether you want to mm -hmm. learn how to bezel set, you want to learn how to wire wrap. You can really do this, you know, do it from beginning to end at home with, the, with, your, with your teacher coming to you virtual like yeah. that. That's the beauty of this program yeah, on Jewelry awesome, Maker. It's it? really ma amazing. Now, we found we have one Taurus ring that slipped through the net. Oh, my gosh. We found one. Yes. Okay, so if you so. missed out on the fern green in a 10 millimeter, this is the very last one. Or there, is there a collection of more? No, than this one? is this is literally the last. The, of the last Taurus, one, yeah. the last of the Taurus ring. So an opportunity to get the last of the Taurus rings here. Wow. Um, yeah. Thank goodness we found this because again, lots of uh, uh, as you can imagine, the Taurus and the Quasars uh, close to selling out, if not already sold out. Look at that. Should be what? Sorry. I'm hearing in my ear. Should be ninety nine ninety nine, which is incredible, Glenn. I mean. Yeah, when you think you've added a diamond to it with gold. Yes. The combination is just amazing. Wow. You said earlier on, I mean, for the diamond wow. in the center. And already I mean, it's, there's several people on the board bidding for it yet. Be quick checking out there. Don't yes. leave it in your basket because we're never going to have a huge quantity of yeah. uh, of. It looks like it's rings. gone already. More than two, right? Yeah. We had a bigger quantity, though. No. 20, but... Um, and a lot of you are choosing the fern green quartz. I love this. I mean, green, I, my, our viewers know that I love green as a color. I think it's really beautiful. And, and when you take those softer tones, the softer natural colors, and team it with your artistry, right? the, the light, you know, how, like you said, the, what did you say, a magician of light? Yes, that's what, that's, that's what they've light. tagged me at. I'm, I'm, I paint with light, but I've heard myself been called that, uh -huh. a magician of light. I would never do that myself. That's just... Makes me a little nervous to say that, but it's often endearing when people can call me a magician of light or a wizard of light. One of those two terms I think yes, I've heard as a tag to my name. I, well, I can see why. I can see why. We have 20, or rather I should say we had. Um, I can also see, talking about feeling uncomfortable, I can also see the clock ticking away on our screens, Glenn. Mm. Um, we're, apparently we're going lower. I'm not, I, I'll, I'll speak the truth. I feel quite nervous about doing this because we're already at 79.99. Glenn, you've explained how much time is invested into creating oh, these. It's, I mean, I really don't get how you guys can do this, honestly. So, hey, that's why you're tuning into Jewelry Maker here because you know you're going to get a phenomenal gemstone or piece of jewelry, whatever the part is you're getting, at, at incredible prices that... Mm -hmm. They are accesses that put you already ahead of the game. If you are a designer and you sell your work, you've got something that you know you can you can either personally make money on as a jeweler because that's how I shop. I look for things that I can turn around and make my income off of and support, and this is where you can do that. Or if it's actually just going to your private collection, you're getting yeah. a phenomenal buy that you're already ahead of the game because down the road, stones like this, like, not you know, gemstones never go down in price. No. That's one of the things that gold never goes, gold goes up and down. But gemstones, I can't think of one gemstone, maybe Tanzanite in the early years, it was like a roller coaster. But every other, and now it's leveled off, and it's never gone down after things finally, you know, evened out in Tanzania and Kenya. But gemstones, if I go back the next year for a gemstone of any quality, I'm going to pay more for it. And it keeps going up. So gemstones are one of those things, as we go, we say, we have a saying in the investment world, it's a hedge against inflation, so to speak. And so you know that maybe in three, four years, you're going to look back and go, oh, my God. I only paid this price for that yeah, stone. Crazy. Now look what they're selling it for. Yeah, and that makes us all feel good that we did good and sure. we, we hit it while we we strike we we struck while the iron was hot, as they say, right? Yeah, absolutely. And I've said this. I've got a few more six, six more quasar cuts to bring you across different stones. I've said this before. Listen, I'm not a silversmith. I'm not. A, I'm not a, um, a one of our amazing designers. Um, I get to sit here and talk to. You know, talented people like not a stuff. bad job, really. Yeah, it's a great job, and admire your beautiful stones. Um, however, I can put pen to paper, I can draw, and I can oh, design wow. around. So, if you don't work with silver, sketch 
and take it to a goldsmith. Goldsmith. That's how I ask people who are designers. They they bring to me mm -hmm. they bring to me a design, and then I can work from that design. I don't have to. It doesn't have to be my design. It's still your design, but I'll manufacture it for you or make it for you based on exactly how you want it. If you don't see a, a mounting that's already out there the way you want it, we would make it from scratch. You know, we, whether we do it in a wax or whether we do it at CAD CAM designing or whether we just build it by fabricating it. You know, some things, and each one is a different skill level or each piece, re depending on where you want to make it at the most affordable price, you decide, well, CAD, it works here for what you want. CAD yeah. being all on the computer, and then the rapid prototype squeezes it out. Wax is where I hand carve the wax, and then cast it, lost wax casting. Or if I'm just fabricating by hammering the metal into the shape that I need it, sawing and filing and shaping, and then welding it, or, or in your case of soldering it together, you got it. Oh, white topaz. Oh, huh? wow. Super bright. Wow. Look at it. Look how bright that is. Yeah. And the quasar. Oh, wow. So that, that could almost, it's just on the screen, it looks like a diamond, right? But like no diamond you've ever seen before. So white topaz has what we call a higher refractive index, which uh -huh. means it bends light at a greater angle, which makes actually that light brighter than maybe your opal or your quartzes. It's higher on the, in the realm of it. I can rattle off numbers if you wanted, but it may, may or may not mean anything to most of you. But it has what we call a higher refractive index. That's one of the, the primary ways we can identify white quartz from white topaz is putting on a, ref a refractometer which reads the degree in which light is bent. Uh -huh. So I know white topaz has a higher refractive index. So it bends light at a greater angle. And thus you get a brighter stone. You know, diamond is off the chart. No refractometer can read a diamond. You need a very sophisticated tool to read a diamond's refractometer because it's higher than the refractometer can read as a gemologist. So you know it's a diamond. But there are other ways to determine a diamond by other ways under microscope of inclusions, mm -hmm. the, 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 the nature of what the girdle may look like if it's not polished. But in topazes or white goshenite uh, barrels and, and clear white quartz, all of those have very distinctive readouts on your refractometer, and that's how you can tell the difference. So the higher the refractive index, the brighter the light. Wow. So that's what, you're up at the white of the <coughs> lights here. There's only two of those left. Um, it's pure, isn't it? It's, it's yes. really pure. It's pure white. Um, I often say it has, it has kind of like a satiny, whitey yeah. light color, where quartz has white light. This is kind of almost a satiny, higher white reflection that you're going to get in the white core, in the white topazes, excuse me. Um, speaking of pure, I've always thought that about praiser light. Praiser yeah. light is that, you know, if you look at a, 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 a leaf, a sage leaf, yes. you've got that that's silver. A, that's the color I call it, a sage green color. Oh. And so this is a natural gemstone that only comes from certain parts of the world, mostly all from Brazil. And again, it's, I think, in the same location that, that the, um, the Rose de France and Amethyst come from. In the Rio Grande do Sul, the bulk of it is. So many, 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 many years ago when they were mining amethyst in these big uh, pegmatite uh, pipes, where they call it, where the big pockets were that they were finding amethyst, every so often they would come across this green colored stone. And they really didn't know what it was until a gemologist came by, well, it's quartz. Well, it's praiselite. So now they realize only certain mines, not all mines, you know, because citrine, if you heat amethyst from certain mines, it'll turn yellow. Mm -hmm. So that's where citrine comes from, from heated amethyst, from certain locations, whether it's Uruguay or Brazil or in Brazil, certain mines only produce a citrine. Well, there's only certain mines that when you heat an amethyst, it turns this color green. Wow. Sometimes you find it in nature, but again, you know, there would be very, 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 very little of it found in nature. And I've trusted other amethysts from around the world by heating it, hoping it to turn it a praise light color, and I just haven't been able to do it. It's from this location when you heat treat it. So like we were mentioning, can we show the one on the turntable right now? And you'll see it. It's kind of a pistachio green color, all natural gemstone. There's no colors enhanced in it. It's just natural heat treatment. So heat treatment means it can happen either in nature or a controlled environment in the kiln, whether I heat it in my kiln in my studio, you know, to heat treat, because I heat treat, you know, a lot of stones, whether it's par Pariba gemstones, you know, things like that, uh, tourmalines, 
various stones that I can heat treat, I would get this green color if I knew the source of where the amethyst came from. But it's that pistachio, or as Ellie mentioned, which I often use as well, it is a, it is a sage green yeah, color. It's beautiful. It looks like sage. Yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. Stunning, now, stunning. I get, we went to a price point there, which, which frankly shocked me. Um, the last two opportunities um, this morning, please repeat what you've just said to me then, Russell. The Rose de France? Oh, he's repeating the price he's, points. Yeah, and I don't... And the, wow. I didn't even notice. I wasn't paying attention. I was just yakking away educating, which I love to no, do. No, please do. Yeah. Okay, well, listen, I've said it now. I love wow. Rose de France. That's amazing. That is amazing. £25, you can get hold of one of Glenn's amazing pieces. It is amazing. The Quasar, across the entire partnership, we all know and recognise as this mesmeric, again, it's, it's the wall of mirrors that we were talking yeah, about. Yeah, the house of mirrors. Yeah. Right. You're really getting tremendous reflections. Nice, delicate stone in the 8 millimeter size. I think very popular because it's not too big, not too small. Enough of a face up, beautiful colors. Look at that. It is one of the most poetic, I think, of colors, not only, mm -hmm. uh, you know, in terms of how it looks, and, but also how it sounds, I suppose. Yes. And then right. team that alongside the quasar. Oh, it's a great cut. It's it beautiful. Is, it truly is a great cut. And it's, again, one of these cuts where it'll be, excuse me, where did you get that? Well, I bought it on Jewelry Maker. I made the jewelry, but I was able to get, fortunate to get a loose stone like this on, on uh, Jewelry Maker to make my own jewelry, whatever that may be. Or if you get an already made mounting and you set the stone, it's still yours. You still did the work. Yeah. You know, the, uh, it's not easy to set stones. Stone setting is one of those. <clears throat> upper drawer skills, you know? Yep. When you're starting to make jewelry, you don't start out setting stones. No. You start out bending metal, filing metal, sawing metal, maybe carving waxes and casting. You know, one of the hardest skills to learn is stone setting. So don't be hard on yourself. It is truly a hard skill to master. And though I, though I studied stone setting, I, I don't do any stone setting more. I just give it to my master goldsmith because that is his that's his job, you know. I can do waxes fine. I can file. I, you know, I leave all the hard technical stuff to him. Though I'm really good at doing, you know, oh. kind of mechanical things like hinges and clasps. I'm, I love that kind of stuff because I'm kind of mechanical and minded. Oh my God, look at how that looks on your 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 diamond ring. Like right amazing. That just shows you that just amazing combination. Wow. So if you have already a diamond infinity ring or a ring that doesn't go all the way around and you want to add a unique stone, you can cut that, you can cut it by just the setting for it and weld or solder the, the mounting to your diamond ring oh. and then set the stone in the center and you have a very, very, very unique diamond praiserlite ring combination like that. Oh, this is the optical quartz one now. Yeah, I mean, that is beautiful. Isn't it funny, all these, all these, all these beautiful uh, you know, colorless stones, effectively, how differently they all work Yeah, alive. like we were talking about with the white topaz. Look how different this looks to you. Now, how would you say this has more of a mystical white color yes, to it? Yes, I was going to say know, for that. For best of adjectives, it's more mystical white. While the white topaz was crispy, hard, and sandy, silky. this has got more of a misty, yeah. softer brilliance to it but it's still white on white wow amazing um well done to every single one of you that has managed to get hold um either the taurus or the quasar cut um you're gonna absolutely love them if that was your first purchase i'm sure it's not going to be your last glenn 10 years yes congratulations thank you and thank you very much for oh, joining me great. this morning that's yeah great. you've got an exciting show on our sister channel later i, I have an eight to ten uh, show tonight or mm -hmm. 8 to 9.30, however long it goes, or however long it lives, with my brand new seven star cut, which has only been shown once before. So this is the newest of my cuts. Um, obviously not yet. They won't be here, maybe down the road. Mm -hmm. So don't expect to find it on Jewelry Maker right off because really we specialize it on the GEMS TV channel. So tune in at that time to really 
have an opportunity to get a seven star cut. It's like no cut you've ever seen. People tell me it's their favorite cut. They've been they've seen all the other shows I've done all this week, but honestly, they've been waiting all week for tonight's show at eight to ten or eight to nine thirty. Again, depending on how long it lasts. And then of course I'm on gem 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 collector with my couture stones. And those you're going to find my one-off couture stones that I hand cut that are elevated, whether they're blue topazes from Montana or Sri Lanka. I have some uh, lightning ridge black opals in there. These are all stones that you can't do, you know, even five are the same together. Mm -hmm. They all have, they're hard to, to color match, but they're one-off pieces. They are elevated. I have some Moroccan amethyst quasars. So this is very rare because it's Moroccan amethyst. I was responsible to bring the Moroccan amethyst, as you've seen, obviously, on all, many of the shows on GEMS TV. But I'm the one that was brought, brought the staff to the mine, helped develop it. Uh, Steve and crew bought a lot of rough, and they've been cutting it in the factory in Jaipur. But I, had, I was able to get a lot of my own rough, which I then turned into quasar. So if you love the quasar cut, I've got one pair of rounds and one pair of cushions. So if you missed out, you'll see. They're a little bit more elevated because it's very rare amethyst and unique. Um, I can go on tourmalines of all the different colors. You have to just tune in to see the show. Oh, we definitely will. Thank you so much. You're it's welcome. wonderful to see Thank you. Thank you for having me all. Everybody, Glenn Lehrer, but do not go anywhere because fabulous Claire McDonald is stepping back into the studio. Right. <laughs> Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street, and Yarn Lane. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, 7 days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker.
it's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Stay interactive with Jewelry Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. Welcome back, jewelry makers, and straight into uh, your masterclass. Apologies for being just a little bit late. What we're going to do, upload all the kits. They're all available for pre-order, and we're going to hand over to our lovely Claire. But let's admire these pieces, um, these beautiful pieces. She's still set it up in the background. Ah! Um, and I think, really, the moment I... I mean, I've, I've become quite familiar with, uh, with this amazing technique. And something that you've achieved, Claire, um, for me, whilst demonstrating this, is really... It's kind of diminishing the fear that goes into soldering. Oh, I hope so. I really hope so, definitely. I think... Because um, it can be intimidating, can't it? If it's a new, it's a new technique, it involves heat. Um, and, you know, we talked a lot, didn't we, about beading earlier. Mm. Um, yeah, and it can just, it's a, it's a, it's a jump up, isn't it? It it's is. A, and it's just something. With, with Glenn's quasars. Yeah, and yeah. Taurus rings. Yeah, yeah. Um, wouldn't that be fabulous? Now, so we're going to upload the kits. They're all there. Have a little look on the specifications are on the website. They all come with sterling silver wire um, and a few additional components that you can solder together. So this is... Um, what made these wonderful designs? So, Claire, I'm literally going to pass the baton over to okay, you. Okay, let's go. We will upload and change the prices as well. Um, just secure yours. FYI, in terms of quantities... Oh, we have decent quantities. Oh, my goodness, there's a lot of sterling silver at those prices. Very affordable, very, very affordable to make pieces like this. Yeah, so I think, I think the really good thing with these is... Um, and that's why I've tried to do a, a couple of different bits is because you've got when when the when the kits come up, you've got those um, solderable accents. Um, it just means so you can uh, you know you can do your stacker rings. So I've tried to uh, show with the stacker rings. You can do pendants. You can do bangles. So we're going to try and I've, I've done quite a few um, rings before in the demo. So I thought I'd show you um, how you could do a bangle. Yeah, love that. Um, here we go. Bring the price onto your screen. This is all sterling silver. All sterling silver. This kit comes with a chain. Under £20. Pounds. It's amazing, isn't it? Wow, really? Honestly. Can I... Ross? Is this, what, is this right now on my sheet? That's Just brilliant. I'm going to say it. Every single one of the kits, and there are four different varieties, you can all shop ahead are guaranteed under £20. It's a lot of silver, isn't it? That's very good, yes. A lot of silver. Shop ahead, have a little look, all guaranteed under £20. Over to you. OK, so, um, so like I say, I've, I've, I think I've shown you quite a few rings now, so I think what I'll try and do is we'll, we'll, do, we'll do a bangle. Um, and so what you want to think about of doing a bangle is, and we're going to do um, a bangle rather than a cuff, um, we want to think about a little bit about sizing and how we can... Um, get a bit more structure into it. So, um, and the other thing with the lovely sterling silver is, so I have actually, I've used liver of sulfur with them um, and they've, you know, they've worked really well with that. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I have got a setup which is down here. Um, I've just got a vise here if you're wondering what I'm gonna be doing, just so that when I twist the wire, um, I've got something to, as she says, as it drops off. Uh, <laughs> something solid and that um i could always hold it would you mind yeah there we are thank you hold it for you Thanks. make make me useful there we are um right so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to start off i'm going to make a twisted uh twisted wire like this so i'm going to use i'm going to double up on the sterling silver wire that you've got uh because i think in each of them i think pretty much do you get the um uh, you get your, uh, maybe not in the pendant one, but you're getting your um, your structural one. Yeah, all the other three. You do. Yes, yeah. So I'm going to um, take that. So I've got my, I'm going to use a wire twister tool. 
I'm going to take. So if you think, I don't think I've cut anything off this one. I might have done a little bit. Um, I've got here, so I've got my, if we have a look, I've got my sterling silver wire there. So I'm going to take the twister tool and I go through and pop this in here. Okay, so that's going to go all the way through and pull through here. So now remember, everything that we're doing uh, with this, this is, you know, it's not our plated, this is sterling silver wire. So what we want to think about is we, we don't want any waste on this. So anything that um, is left over, you're going to, and you know, you're going to keep. Um, so that we can, uh, and you can, you know, I've showed you how to do like granulation before. So keep every, every last little bit. I'm just going to squeeze that there. Thank you very much, Al. It's all right. So I'm just going to get that through. So this is, I'm probably being a bit wasteful here just so that you can, you could use less than that. Okay. So are you okay with that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I am holding Are you it sure? Yeah. You ready? Yes. Right. Okay. So I'm going to start. And we'll watch. And so if you have a look at the, the twist on the, uh, on the wire, you can see so it gives you different options. So you can either have quite an open twist or the more we twist, the more compact that's going to be. OK, so if I keep going, it's going to get tighter and tighter. This is, a, this is a, a test of trust, isn't it, now? I'll look. You don't look like you're trusting of me. I mean, there we are. I love there. you. <laughs> Are you gonna okay, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> so you can see now we've got a nice uniform. That looks so beautiful. It's really lovely, isn't it? Just like that. So if you wanted to, uh, you know, do your uh, stacker rings as well, you absolutely could. So I am. I'm just going to go for speed. I'm going to. You'd that. obviously keep that bit. Yeah. So what we'd be looking at now is we want to think about. Um, shaping here and sizing so i've got um uh quite broad hands um so sort of broad across there so you can take a measurement across here but i actually quite like because these these have got a bit of spring so i've made mine slightly smaller um and then they sit on the the wrist nicely but you can sort of like measure across and that's going to give you um, the dimensions like this. So if you've got bracelet mandrels, you can um, you can do that. You can shape them round, or if you've got forming pliers or anything really that is going to give you um, going to give you that shape. So I'm just using my forming pliers. You would work all the way around, and don't forget. So you're thinking about different processes that the wire has been through. So already twisting it has made it so that it's it's work hardened as well. So you'd be going all the way around, which is going to give us something that looks like that. And that's where you'd be looking at the, the measurements and the diameter compared to your, um, uh, your fist like this. Uh -huh. OK, uh -huh. if you didn't, if you don't want to do any soldering at all, don't forget what you could do is if you've got like one and a half, um, one and a half. Uh, so if it was sort of like that. So you can see, so I've got a full circle and about, just about a half there. There's nothing to stop you from just because you've got that structure. Give it a bit of a hammer, but then you could do, you know, and we do the extendable oh, I love or expandable like yeah. Yeah, bangles. So there's nothing to stop you from doing that. So I'd just be bringing that in. I'll just do this very, very quickly so I can show you how if you wanted to do the soldering. Um, and then bring that round. So you can already see this wire now from just that the um in the in the jaws of the nylon jaws and that twisting it's it's got a lot more um strength and structure so i'm having to work much more to get that to get the shape with it which is what you want for that bangle so then you can um have it like that and then because you've got on some of them so you can see so i've got on the little leaf we've got a hole there and we can pop our jump ring mm. And so if you didn't want to do any soldering at all, you could absolutely use them in, uh, in that way. So if you want to do it so that it's soldered onto it, so if I just move that out of the way quickly. So I'm going to take this one. I'm going to, so you'd be measuring, measuring the size. And I'll just start to... I'm just going to get it so I know. So this is a little bit wasteful now, but you get the idea. So I'm going to cut across. You can use your um, saw if you'd prefer... And I'm going to go 
something like that. And we'll go in here. Okay. So again, in any of our soldering, what we're looking for is a really nice join. Okay. So I know that that's going to fit. So what I am going to do is, and we'll see how, how again it changes. So I'm going to go work my way along. And I can show you the twist there where this is going to work. So again, it's another process with the wire. So it's hardening it even more. And we can, once we've, once we've soldered it, because obviously it, it will anneal, but if you were just going to leave it like this and just have it as the um, expandable one, you can see how you can see how much it's hardening by. Can you see that spring on it? And then let's have a look at the the twist, so you can see the difference now. So by adding that, hammering that, you've got that added angles, which gives you um, the more angles you've got, that's going to give you some nice um, nice sparkle as well on there. Okay, <clears throat> so I'm going to bring this in. And then I really want to think about it. So I can already see it's come. I'm going to just snip that bit off there. If you can see, it's sort of opened up. So I could just pinch that back together with my um, pliers. So I'm just going to snip that off. Okay. So again, I'm just going to have a look and check that this is going to match up. So you can see that's going to go on there. So I'm going to pop that to the side for a minute, up onto the, um, the soldering. I noticed that you've got a star one as well. That's um, yes, nice and moons and stars, nice celestial. Yes, we've just popped the graphics up uh, with the three little, one crescent, one's like a fan and one's a feather, again, all with the sterling silver oh, lovely. wire that you spoke about. And this will go a long way. It doesn't look like much like this, does it, Claire? But no, it doesn't like that, but it actually, it's an, it's an awful lot. You know, you've got, if you, imagine if you were just going to do um, stacker rings, mm. um, you're going to get an awful lot out of there. So that, that's gone in there. So then we want to think about um, if you're doing uh, your, your jump rings, if you've got jump rings, great. Otherwise, again, because you've got enough of that wire. So if I just take a little bit of this. So I'm going to take a little amount of the, the wire and I'm just going to make myself a jump ring there. If you've got bail making pliers, great. Otherwise, I'm just going to use my round nose pliers. Snip off. Turn around and snip off there. So again, what you're looking for is, if I hold that up, you can see very, you know, you want to get a good join there. So if I find my other pliers, sorry, I'm just going to right. reach over and get those. I want to make sure that that matches up. So I can already see a tiny, tiny weeny amount. So you'd file that off or make sure that, that, um, that you've got a good join there. And let's get this. I'm just going to pop that in here. So what we're thinking now about is, is closing everything up. So let's put that on. That's gone on there. And close up here. So again, remember thinking all the time when we're doing our soldering, we're looking at <coughs> amounts of metal. So if we think about the differences of the pieces that we've got here, we've got a very, very small amount in the, in the jump ring. And I can already see, if, you, if, you can, if I hold that up, can you see that there is actually, there's, there is too much of a gap in between. I need to file that off so that you can, I can see through the gap and the join there. So I wanna make sure that, that I can't do that. For, for the best results with soldering, I need to make sure that there is no, I can't see daylight through that, mm -hmm. that little gap there. But so we're thinking about when we direct the heat, we want to make sure that um, this is a very, very delicate part here, but we're going to try and close up and seal there. So my solder, I'm not going to do it all, but I'll show you where you would put the solder and what order I would do it in. 
So I've got now, I've got this section. I could also block off to try and protect the, um, the, bit, the, the leaf here. So I could put maybe a, um, sometimes when we use um, coins, pennies, and that will take and cool this area down. But what I'm going to do, so if I sort of turn it a little bit, and we can see there, so I'd be fluxing and putting a little bit of solder on the, on the joint. Can you, if you can see from the front there, I think that's a good, you can see that where my pliers, uh, sorry, my tweezers are there. So if I, I'd put my... There we are. So I put my little bit of solder here and heat there, which would then give me a complete jump ring here. So then we put that in the pickle, clean that up, do any filing that we needed, because that's the smaller element, that's the most delicate. Then what we're gonna do is, when that's all cleaned up, so we've done that process, is we can feed this onto here and keep that well out of the way. So if you can see the top, I'm gonna to keep that all the way over here. And this is where we're gonna so we have a, so if you needed to, what you'd be doing is, so if I get one of my files, because although sometimes the soldering's good to see, it's exciting. Sometimes, you know, you, you miss out these. This is the bit sort of like that takes the time, really, but this does make a big difference. So you can see I'm just filing away any... I want to get quite a nice join into that twist, so make sure that that's completely off. It might actually be this side that... And again, I'm just holding there. Yeah, it's this side here that's actually got the little bit of a rougher edge. Okay, so I'm just going to take little elements off all the time, popping it back on so that we can see that that's going to fit. And again, we're looking for the same things that we were looking for with that jump ring. We don't want any, um, any gaps in between. If you feel like, um, uh, you know, sometimes with stacker rings, when, we, when, you, when we've made them, we've, we've sort of like almost made them in like a, an oval shape and then we form them afterwards. If you've got your forming plies, you could do that, but remember you've put your little, um, your little solderable detail on there. So I'm gonna hold here. And we're gonna have it so it's sitting like that. Then take, because this, the, the little element that is there, we're gonna keep that way out of the way. So hopefully the heat won't travel all the way around. Let's have a look. So you take some of your flux and I'll show you where you can position your... And I actually use quite a big, um, big piece of solder because what that did... So if I just bring that in and that would go underneath in that section and make sure it's touching. And what will happen if you've got that twist in the same way with the rings as well is it will actually... It, 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 it connected here, so we, which is what we want it to do, so that it's, it's all in one. But it also travels a little bit down the um, down the twist as well. So it, obviously, which is going to give you more strength between those those two wires. So you'd be fluxing and then putting the heat here, and really, really try and direct your torch. So if we imagine that my tweezers are the torch, and if you can see from the the, the top, I'm going to come in, and I really want to get that the heat coming in concentrate on this area and so you would really make that a much better join than I've done that there and then a bit of heat either side here I'm staying away from this uh, this section here where the little solder accent is all the heat around here get this side nice and hot and then really then focus my torch <clears throat> excuse me above here so that heat is then going to draw up draw up that solder so that it fills that so it literally, that joint it, it literally there. almost sucks it up. Yeah, it's like a capillary. So it's oh. going to come up, 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 up like this. So it's really important to, um, you know, where you where you aim your torch. Okay. And, and, you know, we're, we're keeping this section way away from, from the heat there. So you can see how that... And, it, and it's the same principle if you were um, making, a, making a ring as well. You'd do the same sort of thing there maybe try and pop your piece of solder underneath the wire and then direct the, your torch. So if my tweezers are the torch, it's coming up like this, heating all the way around, and then the, the, that flame is going to bring 
all of the solder up. And what you can do is, don't forget, because if we're bringing, if we're getting quite a lot of heat into it, it might have softened again, because all the processes we've done, that twisting, the hammering, um, you know, the, okay, we can't twist it again, but we, there's nothing to stop us. So if I'd soldered that then, I could take that off. I'm going to pop it back onto the block. Just take the, if I have that little, the little part here, hang, hang that off the end. There's nothing to stop me from going round once it's complete and I can hammer it again, which is going to make it really nice and nice and hard. And then I can get that so that that's going through there. Claire, what about, um, like just because the kit right now has got a square wire, so does that change how you work with no, it? No, not at all. So the, 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 the beauty with that is that you would get, um, you're going to get more and more angles. So you know when I said I'd, I'd hammered it, um, you're going to get lots of lovely angles. So if you just twisted, you're going to get really, really nice effects yeah. with that. Yeah, Love perfect. That. Fourteen pound ninety nine, and then with that sterling silver How lovely. component as well. And again, you know, with your stacker rings as well, just having that that difference of oh, I didn't get that one. That's lovely. Isn't it? Yeah, nice? really nice, really nice. You're going to get just different shapes and, and angles with your with the square. Loving that. Um, and obviously, if you have any questions for uh, for Claire, then do feel free you to message on your Facebook. Yes, page definitely, and definitely. Um, I've got no, I've got no reception and Wi-Fi at the moment, so it might take me a bit of time, but I will get back to you. That's what happens when you live in Beatrix Potter's house? That's what happens. Um, I love you, Claire. You're absolutely. Oh, amazing. thank you. I love really you as well. Are. I've had a lovely morning. It's Thanks. been wonderful. Congratulations to every single one of you. Um, be it on, and make sure you send your photographs in as well to the Wall of Fame. Congratulations on all of your Glen Lara pieces as well. Uh, do not go anywhere. Tomorrow, coming up, we've got Dave Trust. We'll see you soon. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay.